let your voices rise let your voices rise you are so good
Miracle work Promise keep Light in the darkness It's a voice Say Way maker Miracle work Promise keep Light in the darkness He's always there. He no 
endureth forever. David was speaking in Psalm 34, and he says, I will bless God at all times. His praise shall continually be on my lips. God has indeed been so grateful to champion it all across the world and also in house. And we have got in mind-blowing, jaw-dropping, and ear twinkling testimonies. Testifiers are all over the whole place. And of course, they are testifying to God's goodness in their lives all through the week in their respective fellowship centers. And today is not an exception. Also, we've got several testimonies this morning. But because of our time, we'll be taking just very few. Please, as I welcome the name of these testifiers with Jesus' joy, I would like you to put your hands together, even as they come forward to testify to the goodness of God in their lives. Sister Blessing James. Sister Blessing James. Sister Adenike Ayola. Sister Adenike Ayola. Viewers all over the world, this is our testimony section. And of course, we are sure that God in the past weeks has been so gracious to you via our uh, uh, social media platform. Perhaps you are watching through Champions TV, YouTube, Facebook, or you are streaming from other platforms. And you know God of this commission has done mighty works in your lives. We ask you to please don't sit on your testimony. Send your testimonies to the counselors. The numbers are displayed on your screen. Of course, they will take your testimonies and will give voice to it and God name will be praised. Champion, shout fire. Shout Ororo. My name is Blessing James. I'm here to give the glory to the God of Champion for making the journey of four years to end in praise. Four years ago, I started my school. Though I faced financial challenges, but at the point of dropping out, God of Champions show mercy. He sent the effort to me. Today, I'm now a graduate. I'm here to return the glory to the God of Champions. Somebody shout fire. While we're taking testimony at the back there, she said he had financial challenges that she felt she was going to drop out of school. But God, in his infinite mercy, as she put that at, at one of our prayer points, and today, God has really blessed her. And I'm saying to any one of you seated here this morning, and you're having one challenge, and you're about giving up, please know that God is still in the house to do marvelous things in your life, and all will end to testimonies if you do not doubt. Praise the Lord. Champion shall fire! I'm here to return all glory back to the God of our Father for what he has done in my life. Serving God is sweet. You don't know what it takes to serve God. I'm here to thank God for what God did for me. Last month, I was coming back from Johnny. I was getting close to Abaji. Our car has a terrible accident. There was a, a trailer park at the front. So there was a trailer coming from the back. So our driver lost control. He just went and entered under the trailer park at the front. So... After everything, I was shocked. The, my colleague were asking me, Miss Noah, I said, I don't know. I don't know because it's just God. God he said, my, I was smiling. They were asking me, why are you smiling? He said, you don't know what God has done. He's done. Perhaps you don't understand what she's talking about. A vehicle entered under a trailer, and yet she could still come out smiling because God indeed entered. You can see the car displayed there. This vehicle entered under the trailer. The, the trailer, and you could see all the windscreen and the bonnet, everything shattered. And yet, after this very accident, she came out on earth, and everything on her, the bones, everything is well entered. This can only be the God of Champion. If you know you are celebrating this God of Champion, you can do it better. Somebody jam your hands together in honor to the God that has saved our sister from this terrible accident that will have claimed her life. God is faithful. And secondly, God said to me in my career aspect, my boss sister saw what I was doing. Say, Mika, I really love what you are doing. I want you to pick it up. It's what I want you to do. And she sent me money last month. I should go and get any kind of sewing machine of my choice. Send me 100,000. And I got the machine. I returned all glory back to God because it's a privilege to be there. Thank you. Somebody shout fire. 
because you are in this service this morning and you are connected to the God of this commission, I pray under the authority of my father, Papa Joshua Aguila, that your helper shall locate you and set you every of your heart desires in the name of Jesus Christ. Please enjoy the rest of the service. Champion, shall fire. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in him. If you believe that as your portion, shout hallelujah. This announcement time. <laughs>
as if the joy has not started overflowing. Champions shout, fire! It is offering time. The Bible speaking in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7, it says, each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. He also speaks in the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 20, verse 35, that it is more blessed to give than to receive. This morning, I want you to put your hands in your pocket, package your offering, and stand up on your feet. This morning, dip your hands in your pocket, bring out a quality offering, and lift it up. Lift that offering up and begin to speak to it. Viewers all over the world, this is our offering time. Wherever you are watching us from, this is Champion Royal Assembly. You can also partake in the seed, sowing by looking on your screen, copying the account numbers, and giving through the electronic giving medium on your screen. Praise the living Jesus. Lift your offerings. Lift your offerings into the heavens. Father Lord, we thank you for the offerings you put in our hands. We appreciate you for the gift of this offering. As we give cheerfully this morning, we ask that the joy that you have kept for us should overflow in the name of Jesus. Father Lord in heaven, we are sending this seed, O oh Lord, into every means of our lives where we are experiencing lack as we give, that lack is over in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are experiencing stagnation, as you give this morning to the glory of God, that suffering is over in the name of Jesus. That stagnation is over in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise the living Jesus. Please give cheerfully.
Shabako Tikapa.
sí, sí.
Ramiro. South African way. I repeat, David said, let everything inclusive of you and I that has breath praise the Lord. Begin to praise the Lord. Genesis that God said let there be light that suggests that there were prohibiting forces wherever you see it here the word say let there is a forceful turn of God I want you to war with me in prayer this morning so that there can be joy overflow indeed say after me my father my father my father Oh God of Papa Joshua again. Oh God of Papa Joshua. Every spirit of sorrow. Every spirit of sorrow. Around my life and my loved ones. Around my life and my Let it catch fire. Let it catch fire. Begin to pray. My father, my father. Joshua Ginla. Oh Lord, oh, Papa Joshua Ginla. Send your acts of fire. Send your hands of fire. Send your acts of fire. Send your hands of fire. To the foundation of my family. To the foundation of my family. And destroy every evil plantation from its 
roots. Begin to pray. In Jesus' name, so it is done. Amen. The Bible says in First Chronicles chapter 4, verses 10, Jabez cried out unto God, Oh, that thou would bless me indeed, enlarge my coast, and that they, thy hand might be with me, and thou would keep me from evil, that you will not grieve me. And the Lord granted his request. My God, Jabez's name means sorrow. I want you to cry to God. I don't know the sorrow you might have experienced in your life. I don't know what God has not done. But like Jabez, I want you to cry unto God this morning. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. That root of poverty in my family. Every root of poverty in my family. Every root of sickness in my family. Every root of sickness in my family. Every ancestral spirit. Every ancestral spirit. I silence them in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of TV. 
condition. Every, every spirit, spirit of condition. That has held my family bound. I command it to be destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Every spirit of division of God. In Jesus' name, so shall it be. Amen. Just the last prayer. I want you to, to dismantle the activities of witchcraft. For the Bible says, I give you power to trample upon scorpions, to trample upon serpents. And it proceeds to record in the book of Genesis that the seed of a woman, that she, she will bruise the head, oh my God, of the serpent. That suggests that the serpent is under our feet. You don't get me. Let me tell you. You are a kingdom inheritor. You belong to the kingdom of God. You are a God. I want you to take authority and bruise the head of a serpent looking down and not up. When we're bruising the devil, we look down because she, he is forever down. Say after me, my father, my father. My father, my father. I dismantle the activity of witchcraft I around my life. Around my life, I command the serpent, I command Satan, I command Satan to be forever under my feet in the mighty name of Jesus. Take your authority, child of God. Jesus shall it be. I prophesy. I speak over your life authoritatively that everything that the enemy has stolen today there shall be restoration in the name of Jesus. Wherever they gather against your name, against your loved one, Jesus will appear. Thunder will burst in the name of Jesus. There is about to be a third man that is about to take over. Your finances are restored in the name of Jesus. I say your finances are restored in the mighty name of Jesus. When they look down on you, they are about to look up to you. Amen. I speak as a prophet of God in agreement with my father, Papa Joshua Ikinla, my God, that is about to be a change of garment. Amen. Are you a lady looking for marriage? You shall receive your own in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every foundation from your father's house, Fire. that family sickness, I prophesy as the voice of authority because you are here it shall come to an end in the name of Jesus Amen. my God I pray for you child of God 
and I decree and I declare you will not see your friends as, as enemies Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. the Bible says the serpent appeared in the garden and begin to speak to Eve about what God has told Eve oh child of God I hear a voice in the realm of the spirit a serpent is about to speak but because you are in this commission you will be wise enough to discern in the name of Jesus Come on, keep praying. Say, my father, my father in this month of September, wherever they are programmed dead for me, that fire by fire, open your mouth and pray. Come on, pray. Hey! Hey! Lucas, pray, 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 pray. Shaka para kata. Pray. 
Igada kosha kata. Liko parande kosi kaparada. Kata tata tata. In Jesus name. Say in this month of September. My father. Give me a testimony. That will silence my enemy's mouth. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Ikaparakosha. Pray. 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 Kapa kato si kapa. Declare. Pray. Liga para koshi kapa. Pray. Liga bo sakapa. Pray. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hands, everybody. Lift up your hands. Mm. He has done me well. He has done me well. He has done me well. Jesus. He has done.
Lift up your hands and thank him. Hebupe Jehovah Shama Rafa. night the Lord said to me something on Friday saying this month of September there are keys of success that is already released uh, I, I don't know if you are among them I saw the thing about this key 
it was not dropped on your hands it was dropped on your head ah 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 something is about to happen in this month of september that we announce you that we distinguish you that we separate you that we make you outstanding outshining you will outshine your enemies if you are there hearing the sound of my voice shout that amen like thunder Hey! Come on! Stephanie, give me. Eleda mi mo di emu. Mo di emu. Eleda mi mo di emu.
In case you are just here today, this is a month of joy overflow. And we are opening this month with thanksgiving and praise. Because before the end of this September, you will carry testimony that will shock your enemies. Hallelujah. Okay, let's read the Bible. Because the way you are going now, you will not make me teach today. So let's take the scripture. Hallelujah. <laughs> are you blessed? Now, pick your Bible as we do here, as is our custom. What is service? He's already, you're already feeling something, eh? Okay, let's take it. Hallelujah. Let's read it, chorus it. Want to go? But here, a choosing generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar. Hallelujah. I'm sharing with us today on what I titled Choosing to Blossom. And about choosing to blossom. I'm the, I did not hear you well. Say it again. The word choosing there means to be selected, appointed, separated, anointed. Preferred, approved, and celebrated. The word choosing there means to be a selected, appointed, preferred, approved, and to be celebrated. So when we say you are choosing, we mean you are preferred. When we say you are choosing, it simply means so many people have the potential to be choosing, but you were choosing in the midst of people. So, to be choosing means to be selected, appointed, elected, preferred, and to be celebrated. Bible speaking that Daniel was preferred above his contemporaries because an excellent spirit was found in him. First Peter chapter 2 verse 9 make us to understand there are four things in First Peter chapter 2 which are important. He said, yeah, a choosing generation. Now, when we say you are a choosing generation, it means in a race you were choosing. In a race, a competition among the crowd you were preferred so he said you are choosing you are choosing, choosing generation am I talking to people that are choosing here Now you, you, see, you see to be choosing in the midst of the crowd has nothing to do with lobbying, bribing manipulation you were just choosing my communicating Am I communicating? In your family, you are the choosing one. In Abuja here, you are the choosing one. In Nigeria, you are the choosing one. I, 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 I'm not hearing you well. I say you are the choosing one. I prophesy. <laughs> uh, if they ask you why are you are how you are, tell them I didn't choose myself. He chose me. There is the choice of the people there is a choice by manipulation and there is a choice of God. You are the choice of God. Now hear me, hear me. 
if the people choose you, you can be removed by the same people that choose you. Am I communicating? If you manipulate your way to the top, you can be detected at the same time by the hand of the law be impeached. But when God chooses you, no man can remove you. Am I talking to the choosing of the Lord here? They might not like your face, but you are choosing. Huh? Am I talking to somebody here? I get the borders here that became a judge, the wife of Lapido, and became a president of a nation. I dear Esther's here that in the beauty contest she was choosing. Am I talking to choosing, choosing? Am I talking to the choosing generation? In the midst of your contemporaries, you are choosing. I'm not hearing that amen like thunder. Hey! I prophesy, I prophesy in this month of September, you shall be selected, elected, appointed, preferred. Am I talking to somebody here in this month of September? My names are Joshua Ikila. By the aurora on my head, I prophesy you shall be elected, selected, appointed, and preferred. If that amen is louder, the person I'm prophesying is entering into that dimension. Sit down. Now in 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9, he said, they are choosing generation. And number 2, he said, ye are royal priesthood. <laughs> I'm glad to submit to you. You are in champions royal assembly. In this family here, we smell royalty. <laughs> we, sm we are not slaves. Our father is the king of kings. Am I talking to queens? Am I talking to kings? Uh, we have left the level of prince and princess. We are in a level of kings and queens. Ye are royal priesthood. You are not just only royal, but you carry royalty with pastoral real ethics. I prophesy in less than 48 hours everything royalty in you will manifest on your pursuit on everything you do enlarge sit down let me go on then he says you are an only nation I say holy. Holy. See, God is the one saying it to. Nobody has the right to call you unholy when God has declared you holy. You know? Uh, holiness is the life that Christ has given me. Holiness is the life that I will follow. I will walk in holiness. I will preach in holiness. Hallelujah. I will walk in holiness. I will preach in holiness. say that person is not holy. You don't have right to declare somebody unholy. If God said, ye are a holy nation. Say, you are holy. No. You shall be holy unto me. For I, the Lord, am holy. You shall sanctify yourself. And be a holy, for I am holy. You shall sanctify yourself and be a holy, for I am holy. So now, now watch this. He makes you holy. Your righteousness does not qualify you. 
See, we, you see, when I see somebody saying, you know, I, 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 I'm better than this person, I am right. You don't have right. It's God that declares you holy. He's God. They brought a woman and said she committed adultery. He was writing on the ground. They said, Master, what should we do with this person? He said, any of you that know you don't have sin, first cast the stone. And all of them begin to remember what they did one after the other. All of them, including the man who, are, who was responsible, all of them left one. You see, God is a God who justifies men. He glorifies, he qualifies. That is why he's called unquestionable God. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Ah, the God who will qualify Abraham. Call him the father of faith even when he could not wait. <laughs> he could not wait. He went into Agai and had Ishmael. But God called him the father of faith. God called him his friend. The God who can qualify David and say he's a man after my own heart. After taking another man's wife. Kill the man in the battlefield. God say he is a man after my heart. <laughs> the God who will look at Solomon after marrying all the things he did and all. And then he came out to become a preacher preaching to me. The vanity upon vanity, all is vanity. If there should be anybody qualified to preach to me, not brother Solo. Holiness <laughs> is in the capacity of God declaring the accused free. Can I go further? He said, yeah, I'm means unusual <laughs> strange <laughs> when God said Joshua Igila is peculiar I am strange the word peculiar unusual uncommon not connecting abnormal <laughs> So when people see me, they don't understand me. So when they want to describe me, they say, we don't know this man. Because if they understand me, they would have killed me. So I'm a peculiar person. I'm a peculiar person. I'm so peculiar. That's where I talk the way I talk. I behave the way I behave. If you try to study me, you will lack vac vocabulary and adjective to describe me. Because the time you think you have understand me is the time I become, I am on. You can't read me. The only person that can read me is my manufacturer, my creator. That's why I am what I am. I'm peculiar. And that's why I do the things I do the way I do them. Because my DNA is not your DNA. Tell your neighbor, I'm a peculiar person. A strange person. That's why nobody is doing what I am doing in my family history. I'm peculiar. I'm peculiar. That's why they call me Aurora Master. You might not like the name, but it's an oil on my head, not Pam Canel. There is an oil on my head. I carry grace and not disgrace. There's something on my head. No man can survive what I've survived because there is a grace. Hey! Can I talk to somebody here? Yeah. Ye yeah, are royal priesthood, choosing generation, holy nation, peculiar people. You have been set aside. You are called out. Where all this description was for somebody called out of darkness, not out of light, out of darkness. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. My background might not be better, but my future is better. I'm not hearing you well. Say my background cannot be, might not be better, but yet I am a choosing generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar person, but I was called out of darkness. How many of you have been out of darkness? from your foundation from the shackle whatever your father went through you are called out of it God didn't call you out of light he called you out of darkness now you see the topic today is 
choosing to blossom. The word blossom means to flourish, to be successful. The word blossom means to flourish, to be successful. The word blossom, blossom means freshness, beauty, productivity. To yield beyond expectation, to blossom, to flourish. Successfulness, productivity, beauty, freshness. And the last one is to yield beyond expectation. You will blossom in this month. Aha! I say you will blossom. I see a robust bank account. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Uh, am I talking to somebody? We've talked too much about your enemy. I want to talk about you. It's you and I came to talk about. That in this month you will blossom. You were choosing for it. You were choosing for it. You were choosing for it. You were choosing to be productive. You were choosing to be productive. To go forward. To go high. To go high. To go high. To go high. Beyond every woman comprehension. I prophesy. You shall be productive. You shall be productive. You shall be productive. Shall we go forward? Four reasons why God choose men. Four reasons why God choose people. Number one reason. Because of his love. God chooses men because he loves them. <laughs> he chooses men because he loves them. Anytime God picks a man. It is out of love. Out of love. Now hear me. Men might hate you, but when God loves you, no man can stop God. Am I talking to somebody here? Uh, the reason why God chose men, because some people might be asking, why, 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 why? Why? If God is to pick somebody, not this man, this man is not qualified. It's true. You might not be qualified by their standard. Do you know why people are jealous of you? Do you know why? They feel you are not qualified for what you are choosing to do. There are women speaking Quincy English. Beautiful but no better husband. But God chooses you for a better man. <laughs> do you know why God picked you out of your family? No, it's not because you know how to pray. Stop, stop. When I hear preachers say, I pray for 15 hours, 17 hours. That's why this anointing came. That's rubbish. They are just human egotistic explanation for what God is doing that they cannot describe. God chooses men because he loves them. You don't get it? The reason why Mary was choosing was God's love for her. There were other virgins in Israel. But God chose her. Magabadia. Stop looking for men's love. There are too many fake love everywhere. Young ladies, listen to me because I'm going to... Because I feel that sometimes when I preach revelations, you don't hear. So I need to come down to your level. You don't need any man to approve you. Stop proving to men that you love them by sending your nudity. Sending your nude pictures everywhere. Any man that cannot accept you that you love him should leave you alone. There are many young men blackmailing young ladies in the name of love with deception. Collecting your nude pictures. You are doing it out of love for the man you felt that you love. And then they use it. That I've, I, for the past six months, I've seen ladies cry down to me. Young men, ladies who are well-to-do, sold their car 
in order to keep a man that is blackmailing them out of love. And I want to warn young ladies, it is the new deception that is happening now in this generation. And it is happening to Christian ladies, but they cannot talk. I have met them. They have cried before me. The men and the brothers will propose you that they love you. Because you are an emotional being out of love. You send your nudes to them. They keep it. And then they pick a quarrel with you. And by the time they pick a quarrel with you, you go. Then they start blackmailing you. I will post it on social media. One sold her two cars. And for five months, she was taking all her salary to give to this criminal criminal manipulative man and he was not still satisfied she went forward to start borrowing money she became a piece of herself she was at the verge of killing herself when she met me hear me hear me you see every pretense by deception the law is by your side such criminals need to be apprehended and dealt with blackmail is an offense Hear me. God chooses men because he loved them. Hear me very well. Don't be carried by emotional ethics of new guys. There are young men. Bachelor Wood is now a business. Because as long as they remain a bachelor, they will market their bachelor wood to get girls. What they do, they don't propose for courtship. They tell you, I want to marry you. Then by the time you fall in love, they collect everything that you ever have and dump you. Lazy young men. Lazy young men who don't want to work. Who want to live on the hard labor of ladies who are innocent. Am I supporting ladies sending their note? No. But hear me. There is deception everywhere. Can I go further? Number two reason why God chooses man is favor. See, I talk about love. Then second, I talk about favor. Favor is divine partiality. Qualifying the unqualified. Jacob, I love Esau, I hate. I don't know why. Hear me. When God chooses you, it's because you have found favor. Hey, can I talk to favor generations here? Uh, am I talking? Some people don't know how you get here. You did not get here because there was juju. No. You got here because there is favor on your head. I carry favor on my head. I am a product of favor. Favor is the factory of manifestation, the factory of separation, the factory of divine approval, the factory where men are placed and installed on top. Favor is the reason why men are distinguished between boys and men. Favor puts you out. Favor makes you outstanding. Favor keeps you currently, 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 current in the circuit of life. Favor is divine approval and God's stamp that elevates a man among his equals and contemporary. Favor is the mark of approval. Favor is the mark of God's credibility, authenticity upon a man. And when man, when God approves a man, you cannot disapprove. Number three reason why God chooses men is their heart. Oh. The heart, the heart will yield to a man who has a good heart. No amount of English language makes God pick a man. Mm -mm. It's their heart. You, you. Men look at the outward appearance. <laughs> but God searched. When people look at us and see where we are, they think it's because we know how to pray. They don't know God looks at our heart. You can deceive men with your mouth. But your heart speaks louder than your mouth. That's why he said, when yet you are still praying, I will answer. 
David said, let the words of my heart. Hear me? There is something in your heart. What you say with your mouth is different from what God sees with your heart. That is why men can use their mouth to talk. But God doesn't look at what they say. He approves men by their heart. That is why the worst of the unbeliever can be approved by God and a tongue speaking believer will be removed by God because the man can speak in tongues but his heart can speak in tongues God pick men because of their heart if God look at you and know that you might have weakness everywhere, but your heart is right. He will follow you for your heart, not your weakness. Because a wicked man can be seen by his heart, not by his mouth. Young ladies, when you fall in love with poem, you will eat poem. Poem is the gathering of lyrics from the tongue of a deception. Men with good heart might not be able to construct poems, but you see them in their deeds. Hello? Do you know why you say, why is God, why did God pick that man? Why, why? He's not qualified. Mm -mm. God pick men because of their hearts. When Prophet T.B. Joshua was alive, people say, hey, he's not a good man. He is this. There are people that are quoting scriptures, cannot do the works the man was doing. Now, scripture we won't chop. You cut scripture of holiness. You preach against somebody from Genesis to Revelation. But you don't have the good heart to do a good work. We are not in the days of gifts. We are in the days of fruits. By their fruit, you shall know them. Not by the gift of preaching. You can be eloquent and preserved with your preaching. But your works, that is your fruit, is contradicting the eloquent salmon. When Archbishop Benson in Awusa was alive, a great patriarch of faith, he was not doing the talking alone. He was talking and doing. There was no limit. He got across denomination. That's why he's the father of Pentecostalism. He did not know which church you come from. He got across everywhere. He helped everybody that needed to be helped. God nominated us. We denominated ourselves. Denomination had nothing to do with Archbishop Benson in Ausa. It was about helping men. My spiritual father, David Young, is your blessed memory. They, when asked, how do you got the, get this crowd, the multiplication? He said, my heart goes for souls. Heart. A gentle preacher, a quiet preacher, but the heart brought result. I ask you, what is in your heart? The description of your heart will describe what will happen around you. Politicians can deceive us and enter power and take power and sit on power. After four years, we will know what is in their heart by the atrocities they will commit or by the good they will do. God doesn't choose men anyhow. He chooses men because of their hearts. That is why you are asking. Our last born is better than me. Why did God pick our last born? He knows if he pick you, you will not help anybody. 
So you look for the one that will help everybody and anoint that one. Joseph in the family of 12. Reuben is there. Simon is there. Judah means praise was there. All of them. Benjamin was there. But God had to look into the seed of the time. And said if I make Reuben the, to become prime minister. This whole nation of Israel will suffer. I need a man from among them. That after being offended will forgive. And after being offended we bring them. We create a space and make them to grow and help them. And he found out the man who has the capability and credibility was Joseph. God chooses men for their heart, not for their prayer life alone. You can pray 25 hours and not have a good heart. Mm. He loves me. I cannot say why He loves me I cannot say why On every tree He's so far for me He loves me Can I go further? Keys, five keys. That determines how you blossom. Five keys. Number one, becoming a seed with potential. There are so many useless seeds that doesn't have potential. You are a seed. You must be determined that anywhere you enter, you must produce. Nobody invest on a seed that will not yield. If you are a woman, please go to school. Burn the candle. You must have the potential. Now hear me. For all the sisters. You don't become a wife because a man marry you. Mm -mm. That's the wrong thing that most of you think. Say, I am a wife because I have a husband. Mm -mm. He that find a wife. She was already a wife before they found her. He that find a wife. Shall do what? I find that a good thing. So when a man is finding you, he should not find you as a girlfriend, but as a wife. You don't become a wife because a man marry you. You are already a wife before you are married. Nobody will wife a lady that is a girl. You must be a wife material to be marriable. Number two, locate your environment for you to blossom. Locate your environment. You don't flourish everywhere. There is a place. A place. A place. When God created the fish, there was a place. When he created a place called water. The birds, the place called the air. The lion, the place called the jungle. Man, the place called the earth. There is a place for you in Nigeria, in Africa, in profession. Locate your environment to blossom. You don't blossom everywhere. If you carry fish and put on the dry land, no matter how good the shark eats, it will never blows up. You don't plant salt, plant crops on hard ground. You plant them on good soil. Discover everywhere is not your environment. Bad association is not your environment. <laughs> so you must know your place. Know your place. Every place is not your place. If you are not in your place, you will be replaced in your place. 
Look at me. Look at where I am. Look at where all of you drive down. <laughs> this is my place. I don't go to town anyhow. I have properties in town. I can build anything I want to build there. <laughs> but that's not my place. Chikakwere is my place. I don't jump around. See, window shopping in destiny will chop your head. Stay in your place of assignment. If not, you will resign. Every atmosphere is not your atmosphere. There is a place you enter and you flourish. I've tried some business. And I discovered they are too burdensome and too, too many things that are involved in the business. So I had to cut them off because I just feel this is not my place. And the business I do, I flourish easily because I know all the rudiments and everything around the business. Know your place. Don't deceive yourself. Know your place. If you are somebody that cannot tolerate people, don't be in the ushering department. Go out from that place. That's not your place. Go to the security department where you have stubborn people that you need to handle with your stubbornness. Know your place. Know your place. In destiny, if you want to blow some stay around your place. There are some of you here, there's no amount of School and teachers we collect for you. You know, go no book. Nebi say the head don't close from beginning. But they, if they bring you into business, hey, nah, chuku, chuku, ah, ego, wait oh, you start, you operate, you can tell us about import exports container. Container from Malaysia, from China. You can calculate your head is calculator. What mathematicians can do with your brain? You can calculate. That's your area. Don't deceive yourself. No amount of university you will go. It might not help you. Stay around your place. Let those who are speaking English language speak English language while you are speaking ego language. When they come, you will employ them with your money. With your money. They will go and become professor. And they will come and meet you. You will be pressing the calculator. And tell him, manager. You put them there. And you fire them. You might not be able to speak English language. You tell them, you are fired. And they are fired. Can I pray for somebody? You will, you will progress in your place. I say you will progress in your place. Hello? It's not every one of you that will be musician. Don't force yourself to come and sing when you're a stamina. That's not your place. You know when you hold the mark and you want to sing, there will be cockroach and rat combination with lion. So don't think that is not your place. Allow people in their place to, to flourish in their place. Am I helping you? Am I helping you? We had a choir master when we started this church. Very funny choir master. Always singing burial song for us every Sunday. I will sit on the, I will sit where I am sitting there and I will feel depressed. They cannot play instrument. They cannot play drum set because the song cannot synchronize with instrument. One day I call him and say, choir master, can you change the, the, the nomenclature of your song? He said, we have a powerful one next Sunday. You will see it. I was feeling very imp impressed. The next Sunday he brought another one that was dangerous. Even the choir member cannot sing it. He was the only one doing his hand singing. May God make you know your place. place you stay in your place if you know that you are a drunker don't go for evangelism
sees him in beer parlor. Because by the time you get there and you hear the smell of brukutu, you will stay there. Brukutu. place stay in your place stay in your place stay your neighbor stay in your place stay in your place see hear me don't try to impress person waiting you know sabi you know sabi that's not my place am i talking to somebody here am i talking to somebody here Tell your neighbor, I'm in my place. Whether you are a plumber, you are in your place. You are an electrician, you are in your place. You are a professor, you are in your place. You are a politician, you are in your place. You are a psalmist, a musician, a poet, a writer, you are in your place. A businessman, you are in your place. Tell your neighbor, I am in my place. And I go further. Number three, be planted, be rooted. Because you cannot blossom if you are not planted. Can't be jack of all trade and master of none. Show me where you are planted. I've been preaching now for 30 something years. This is my place. No, don't, don't, don't tell me about. <laughs> don't tell me about. How? This is my place. This is my place. Planted. You have to be planted. See yet a man diligent in his work. Shall not stand before mere men. Paul said this one thing I do. Not two things. One thing. One thing I do. Get planted. A tree doesn't grow because you Pick it from one place to another. A tree grows because it's planted. For those of you that want to jackpa, be very careful of where you are jackpa into. Because you can jackpa and become jackpa. Make sure you do your planning well as you are jackpa. Because many people have jackpa and they are crying at where they jackpa to. Some of them want to come back home, but they cannot come back home. Because people will ask them, 20 years of abroad, what did you bring from abroad? Don't jump. There is no money in the streets of abroad. If you are lazy here, you will be lazy there. Anyone you see in abroad, check them very well. They, they know they play. They give you one dollar, you must account. Because they are buffing old women, doing washing toilets, doing all the whole mago mago and good jobs. Most of them work hard, put all their hours in. And after that, they pay bills that takes most of the money. You don't know what we enjoy here in Nigeria. You don't know. Tax we collect, everything we collect, VAT we collect. Ah. Nigeria is sweet, too. you don't know. <laughs> when they vat your life, they tax your life, you will understand. Another reason the presence of God. I will show you that. I will come back to that point. In Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 and 2, God spoke to Abraham because God wanted him to blossom. So he chose him among all his father's family. He said, now the Lord said unto her, Abraham, get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred, from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. Get thee. Get thee out. Get thee out. Get thee out. Get thee out. I want to share and make you see after the keys to blossom, I want to show you the process you follow to blossom. Number one is departure. I have five D's. Someone say departure. Departure. Now, 
when you read verse 1 you will see God told Abraham to depart from his father's house to a land he will show him Hebrew 11 8 now on the author there put it there the writer there was talking sorry I'm teaching and that's what I do now Hebrew 11 8 by faith Abraham when he was called out called to go out to a place which he should after receive for an inheritance obeyed and he went out not knowing whether he went first of all let's talk about departure when God when God wants you to blossom and wants you to progress the process he does he calls you to leave certain environment because hear me there are environment that does not carry the supportive machineries and mechanism to support your growth for your future to blossom so he takes you to a new environment sometimes departure or living an environment does not mean that you are under a curse it is a progress that makes you move forward you can be in your father's house and God tells you it's time to leave that's why when I hear uh, some of my sons you are trying to be dramatic because some few sons left me why are you dramatic because sons left me is he your headache are you the one that is their father so why are you being dramatic they can be under a father and it's time for them to go and fulfill their destiny true fathers we allow them to go because if they are around that same father house which is like Abraham father they might not prosper there might be a place for them to prosper don't be dramatic they might not be matured in the way they live it does not make them bad and does not make the father bad stay around your place leave your father head back for your father when they get matured they will know how to meet with their father there should be no bitterness don't make it a big deal when people leave their father what is what what is the big deal it's progress as long as they are going to preach Jesus and not devil. It's the kingdom. I am an ocean. Use canter, I will not dry. Fetch the water, I will not dry. The most important thing is that they are going to fulfill destiny. Whether they are matured about it and how they go or they are not matured is inconsequential. Now, sometimes you may not fulfill destiny where you are. It might be in another place. Abraham. Abraham left his father to fulfill destiny. There is an environment where you enter that you fulfill destiny. Am I talking to somebody here? When God told me to leave Ibadan, I was feeling that that was the end. I have put in all my years. All my years. By this, by this um, by this November will be 27 years of this ministry even though we are celebrating 17 of Champions Royal Assembly but hear me, there is an environment you depart to that you make impact there is a the reason why God pick men and why God choose men is their maturity in handling battles Papa, I don't understand I don't know why you think that's why you are not Papa Bomb boy don't speak like this. It is Papa that speaks like this. Hear me? There should be maturity in handling battles of life. Maturity. There are places you stay that you will never prosper. There are men you find yourself under. You have not married them, but you have lost everything because they are not your soil. Your husband is supposed to be your soil. That when you enter into his life, your educational capacity, intellectual reasoning, ability, progress come. When the man dry you off, he's not your soil. Young ladies, before you say, I do, be careful of which soil you land on. Many beautiful flowers have faded in the hands of dangerous soil. Number two is details. Process to blossom. Details. 
When you see the book of Genesis 12, 1, God said to Abraham, go to the land that I will show you. Meaning that Abraham left his father's house not knowing where he was going. That's, he did not have details. Stop waiting for details. Because if you are looking for detail, you will be detained in destiny. Sometimes God will ask you to carry out an instruction without giving you detail. I thought Abraham knew where he was going to. Mm. He left his father's house to a land that God will show. Between the departure and the faith moving, as he was going the direction, because hear me, direction is another D. As you begin to go by the leading of the spirit, details begin to unfold itself in particles, process by process. It is in the doing that the knowing come. It is in the doing that the knowing come. If you don't do, you don't know. So hear me, the steps of a hundred meter have to stop with one step. There are giant steps that make men giant. Abuja sleeping on a three seater. This ministry was inside me. No juju brought me here. Obedience brought me here. I disobeyed God waiting for three years of instruction. I thought it was wilderness experience, but it was disobedient. Because comfort zone usually a dangerous zone. Sometimes God will ask you to leave. Details. 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 One day your mama called me. We were talking. She said to me, you know I love God so much and my assignment is to make you fulfill destiny. I can sacrifice anything just to make you happy. I have your fruit in my hand but I will not stand in your way of your decision. I'm blessed I'm the CEO of my company. I'm doing well. You can take our son, fulfill your destiny, and be happy. I will be there just for my son. I don't want to come in between you and anybody. Destiny brought me here. I can become a sacrifice, but I don't want to stand on your way of greatness. And I said to her, I don't know where I am going. The details have not been given to me. I can't stop you. All I do is to pray. It is in the doing that the details come. How I got here, my enemies brought me here. They thought they want to kill the glory. But in their banner beating me, I got the details. Where I love me, hey, hey. Where I look by me, where where I look by me, where I where I look by me, where I look by me, where I where I in the process of living, you don't get the details. But in the direction of the Holy Ghost, the details puff up. There is a current update. And in the current update, there are partic particular ingredients. Be, be, don't be in a hurry to 
make decision in life. When you are angered, when you are provoked, sometimes God brought you to the place where you are. For such, I am not preaching out of theory. I'm talking experience. He will use anything to navigate you. He will use anything. He will use your enemy. He will use your loved ones. He will use, he will use any, anything to bring you to the place. For we know that all things work together for good to them that are called according to the purpose of God. So in the process of life, you follow. I've been here for some time. I'm not too young. I'm not too old. But I've seen things. So I can tell you that sometimes you don't hold things because the thing that departs now can become your blessing tomorrow. If Abraham had not gone, the father would have not gotten a patriarch. His father's father name was not mentioned, but he brought the father into a limelight. If Joseph had not departed, now hear me, he would give you details when you begin to take your steps. Steps. Mm -hmm. Steps. You take steps. Are you in a marriage now? No baby! You never knew that you were going to stay for nine years without a baby. If he had tell you that, you would have not entered the marriage. He will not show you the ending from the beginning. He will show you the part he wants you to know. So when you begin to take the step, you begin to feel bad. Yes! That's how you know you are in the purpose of God. When things pop out, that was not part of the plan. But this, hey, hey, this Lord was not what you told me. The details were not there. He said in Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the thought that I think towards you. The thought is not of evil. But to give you an expected end, at the end, you will get there. Don't worry. But the process might not be your program. The process might not be your program. But hear me, at the end, you will shout hallelujah in the trialuyah. Come walk with me. When the road. Sometimes the road can be rough. It can be narrow. Sometimes it can be bad. But hear me. You are still part. You are going. For every one of you that have been heartbroken. You lost your job. It was not part of the details. You did not know. You were heartbroken. It was not part. But hear me. In going the details pop up. And then... The direction in between the departure and the details. And then, when you begin to get the details, you now attract the distinction. You begin to see results. Now you begin to see results. The result came because you follow departure, direction, detail. It attracts distinction. Distinctions don't just come if you don't follow these. You must understand. And when you get the distinction, it brings you to the last day. That's your destiny. Because hear me, destiny, you don't just get there overnight. You depart, you get direction, you get the details, then you attract distinction. When you now start seeing result, everything is now producing result. Then God now say, this is your destiny. When people see you at your place of destiny, they don't see departure direct and details they just see distinction they don't know that there is no glory without a story you can't become Joshua again overnight mm -mm. Uh -uh. I went through something something went through me me too I went through something Ah, uh, <laughs> it's like that. 
Are you, are you hearing me? The breeze will flow. The thunders. May you not fail. May you not fail. Lord, I don't know where I'm going to. He said, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Mm. Oh, trust in the Lord with all your heart. And emotions are visitors. They can expire at any time. In the portals of life, you must understand. Your feelings are not your future. Your funeral or your future is attached to your tongue. Dead and life are in the power of the tongue. So your funeral or your future, speak life that you may live. Stop talking down on your destiny. You are not boastful when you are wordful. Your behavior will determine your blessing. If you behave it well, you get blessed well. Your attitude is your altitude. Real prophets will dig into your trash to get your treasure. When you get around real prophet, they break into your trash. They tell you about your future, not your trash. They see treasure in your trash. They come to you. You might be a barrack boy. You might be in an entity now. And they say, I see a governor. Hello? Come on, laugh a little bit. If you don't know how to laugh, you will not last. Uh, you did not hear that one well. I say, if you don't know how to laugh, you will not last. Laughter is a medicine to the bone. Paul said, I say rejoice. And I say again, rejoice. Seven pillars of influence. If you want to blossom, I want to bring you to these seven pillars of influence. These pillars, if you see anybody influential in life, is either falling around some of these pillars. Number one pillar of influence is education. Nobody becomes great around some areas and spectrums of life without education. Education is not for formality. 
is the benchmark that puts people on top in life. To become a president of this country, you have to have certain qualification. And if you don't have that qualification, you can't even vote for the office or run for the office. Right now, today, we are talking about uh, 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 issues and questionability of some people who are politicians, their credentials, because they believe that their educational qualification qualify them for the office where they are. Now, hear me. Education is not for fashion. It is a benchmark that puts you around opportunities of life. So sometimes going to school is one pillar. There are people who have become great by this pillar and become influential by education. So you must understand that if you must get to certain height in life, there is a reason. You don't just go to school and become a graduate because you need to get a job. It puts you at a platform where you are appointable, electable, applicable, acceptable, and you have the opportunity to actualize certain dreams. So hear me. Hear me. Burning the candle. Your certificate might not do anything now, but it makes you credible, sellable. Hear me. Very important. Very important. They might just be looking for a quick appointment and they ask you, what is your qualification? I'm a BSc holder here. Okay, you are qualified. You, it might not be your area, but let's start you a graduate. You don't just go to school because you need a job. You go to a school because it creates a platform to sell you, your sellability. Number two, pillar of influence. It's religion. Why did I say religion? You see, I laugh when politicians say religion is inconsequential to politics. But when it comes to time of politics, they are in the mosque, they are in the church, technically doing what? Campaigning. Religion is important. When we talk about religion, open bracket spirituality. Hear me! One of the greatest opinion shaper who can influence life a religious leader, be it Islam clerics or religious clerics, we shape opinions here. Yeah. You need to understand that there are certain things that you cannot become until you become spiritual. You don't attend whether by any means life itself is spiritual. The gateway to take over life, you can, you have to be spiritual. I've seen most billionaires in the world say, I don't believe in the existence of God. And so, I believe in myself. That belief in yourself itself is spiritual. Which is worship of self. Religion. Today in Nigeria, we are divided so much across religion line. Why? Some of the greatest men on earth see them a religious leader. Billy Graham visited so many presidents in his lifetime commanding attention everywhere he went to. Maurice Salula, great men, patriot, men with great power and influence. Muhammad, even the founder of Islam, commanding attention you dare not talk against him his followers and some of his zealous followers will cut off your head because of their religious affiliation you have to respect that man we are talking about men Buddhists, people found of Buddhism, Chindus found of Sintuism, you must understand great men men who have paid their price people like Apostle Ayo Babalola, people like Mose Orimolade, people like or suffer religious founder they might be traditional on this place they command attention men like 
disobedience in Udah Musa, men like TB Joshua, men with passion, men who became influential. TB Joshua, why a life commanded attention everywhere, nations all over, though not celebrated yet, accepted far abroad. You cannot argue the impact, though he has departed. We are talking about men still existing, making impact, religious leaders with impact, men like David Young, he told my spiritual father, I talk about men with passion, men of great impact, people like Maria Udo Hector, Kendrick Kuma, people like Billy Graham, I'm talking about men like Abraham Lincoln, men who stood the time of soil, men in our days like Papa Deboye, like Oyedepo, men like Joshua Igila, who are making impact with passion, with passion, influence. Talk against religion, the Pope, run them down, you cannot diminish their influence. I don't like preachers. They are bad. They are this. You don't know anything. What we solve is more than what we cause. <laughs> I've seen people who want to commit suicide. This year, I've talked to more than 20 something. Crying. Out of them, 19 are women. Crying. One word of counsel, 30 minutes, saved the life. You say we are not impactful. We invaded a village, 63 old year women, 58, 54, 55, are into prostitution for 500 naira. You say we are not impacting life, we are not preaching, we are giving them rice, food, helping them. They are coming to serve God. You don't know the impact until some of us leave the soil of earth that you will know what we have done. No man can do this except the Lord be with him. No man, no man, no man except the hand of the Lord of Jehovah is on his head. You say we fake it? Come and fake Nigeria prophecy. Come and fake it. Try and fake it. Come and try and fake it. No man except the hand of Jehovah. I don't need you to believe me. I never consulted your approver to get here. Your disapproval is inconsequential. I respect you very much, but you don't encroach into my authenticity. Relevant by association, I'm relevant by God. I came here when none of you know me. You do not know where I came from. From nowhere, from one room, one shoe, no toilet. I became relevant by darkness, not by mediocrity. You don't know great men because they are rich. You know great men by the scar and the battle they went through and they survived. Still standing, standing, contending. Another pillar of influence in life that is very, very important is media. 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 <laughs> Anywhere you see media, we are in the days of social media. You can, I'm talking about how to blossom, how to become influential. Don't look down on these things. We are in the days of media. Where social media can make you trend in one minute. Hey! Come out of your old school mentality. You will not be relevant. Media! Media! Social media. I consider you a dead man when you are not current with what is going on on social media. You don't go to social media to show your clever appearance. No. 
you go to social media to update yourself to be relevant. If not, you become updated. Businesses now are done on the street of social media. Not only shop. Don't be analog. If not, your generation will pass you by and you will think they are using juju. As I'm talking to you right now, millions of people are watching me via Champions Television. A media, a medium, a media, a medium. The early days I started my faith. I was doing money cry and boss evangelism. There was no place I did not enter in Odogo Barak. No blocks I didn't do money cry with megaphone. Rukuba Barak. No place I did not go. Everywhere. Money cry. Not these days of custard and butter believers. But hear me. Despite the fact I did that, I have to upgrade myself. In these days where men are upgrading their mentality, if you downgrade yourself, you will go down. The reason why you feel so sorry for yourself is that you are not catching on with the moves of this now. Are you about to share that? Give me time. I really want to talk. God help me. Social media. The power of media can bring a president down, a country down, a politician down. The power of media can decorate a pupa to become celebrated. Talkers are takers. And the medium through which you talk is important. Some of you are not on Facebook. You are not on anything. You are on old group. I don't like social media. Yes. Once you are matured, you have the ability to block the blockable and to see what you want to see. Social media is used for business, marketing. There is the bad side and there is the good side. Hear me? You must use the good side. The gospel can be preached through social media in the twinkling of an eye. Number four is artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Open it, technology. Scientific technology. And close it. You can't go far if you don't understand artificial intelligence. You can't go far. You can't go far. Artificial intelligence. We are in the days where if you don't understand artificial intelligence, you can die a pooper. One of the fastest ways where billionaires are making money is through artificial intelligence. We have robot machines that can trade for people while they are sleeping and they make their money. We had robot machines now that are communicating artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is helping CEOs of companies to do job that 20,000 men will do in the speed of light. So it eliminates over expenditure on human resource management. You must understand men are going into some level of intelligence. Those days you need dictionary open and open to get there. By your Google you click and in the twinkling of an eye you get the meaning of a word. I'm talking about artificial intelligence, the speed of light, the speed, the speed, and the church is speaking in tongues without understanding our speaking in tongues to enlighten us to be at the jet era. Men are traveling in the speed of light and the church is working with a typewriter mentality. We are busy fighting one another over members, over doctrine, why the world is going digital. The only reason why Paul wrote 13 books was education, intelligence, with your spirituality. Peter, might you look, they sat with him. But there was no intelligence to drive the point. Paul, who was Saul, never met him in the flesh. But a countered light, illumination, 
flight, insight, foresight, capacity, I mean ability to comprehend, to speak in the language that songs of men can understand by relevance of intelligence, by spiritual inspiration, endorsement, impartation, implantation. He wrote books more than the ones that met him in the flesh. One you see influential check Elon Musk one of the richest man on earth with his own satellite everything the guy is just doing everything he's he has left the planet earth he's dining in the sky no speaking in tongues yet no holy ghost but hear me, if a man who is natural can do that, how much more hearts that carry up a father? It is because everybody in the church wants to be a preacher. There are no Joseph. There are no Deborah. There are no Deborah. There are no men that are seasoned philosophers, uh, economic gurus like Joseph. There are no men like Daniel who was a prophet, a politician, and a member of the parliament, and the chief senate, the president of the senate in his time and though a professor of prophecy. Charge is quiet. Am I giving you hard meat? You know your father by the shift of his knowledge, not by entertainment. That's why most of you are not growing. I used to know Papa, but you don't know me. You used to know me. Oh. Some of my sons, they don't even know where I've gone to. If you know where I've gone to, in the realm of the spirit, and the way I think, you will know that elementary things don't move me anymore. Mm -mm. Those days it used to move us, not now. We are thinking of making money that we save. Do you know there are certain people in this world who are staying under the cave, who are staying under underground to preach the gospel. They cannot declare their faith. They are being killed. I don't want to mention nations. You don't understand. We are here preaching the gospel in a liberal society. If you have not touched money, when you see 20 million, it will be shaking you like paper here. Those who have touched money don't get moved by that. There's a level you get to. You are, you are looking at how to break some codes and get to the next level. Over in the internet, I saw a young lady via artificial intelligence making $200,000 every day of her life. No film trick. She was being interviewed and she was telling, speaking, speaking, and just 27 years of age. She bought a house, legitimate money, not Yahoo money. Inte artificial intelligence. All you are doing with your brain is to go on that tree and the backyard of Memuna and be blowing whistle. <laughs> soon, 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 soon. May the mother pour you out water on your head. In this dispensation, can anima matter, 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 matter? Everywhere you are looking for a woman. Your maids are breaking codes, breaking codes. Church is getting quiet. Hello? How many have I given you? Four. Number five, entertainment. Open, sport, fashion. I'm talking about the gateway. Hear me? Why am I giving you?
you these pillars of influence is to make you know the church has left this pillar and we are speaking in tongues. That is why we cannot affect anything. You can be a tongue talker and you are in sport, in football. One of the highest paid people are footballers. Yeah, hello, I am not speaking in tongues. I'm telling you how to get way to become influential. Everything is not to become pastor. Every time. Everybody wants to be pastor. Is he pastor everything? I just mentioned. He's pastor everything. That's why we are having cycle of young men rising up, becoming pastor, becoming pastor. When we grew up in the barrack, every barrack boy wants to become a soldier. My father started warning me. He said, don't become soldier, I'm suffering. He said, don't become soldier. He said, if you want to become soldier, become officer. He said, become officer. Because our ogre, they are enjoying it. We, we are not enjoying it. So every barrack boy that wake up, we felt that life end in the barrack. We never knew there's something beautiful than barrack. Entertainment. Fashion. You are abusing all these fashions, designers that are doing macro, micro, micro, and skeleton design. Exposing the exposable. What are you doing as a Christian designer? Can you enter into Christian fashion and design good clothes for our daughters so that our daughters can dress and walk with an angel? You can speak in tongues and be a Christian fashion. All you do is rapa and buba. Rapa and buba. You, all you do is rapa and buba. You have, you have there are better fashion that you can still do. Because you have refused to. Hey, Satan fashion. Say, there is a Christian fashion. Can you help us with Christian? The, stop talking about this devilish fashion if you cannot give us Christian fashion. You know, if I don't expose it, no man. Hear me. Men who come for you, they are cheap men. They are cheap men. Real men want their thing covered. Church is quiet. Where are the Christian brothers that can design? What I'm wearing is designed by my son. Yeah. And he has been doing that for 15 years. You are sitting down. All you are doing is to deceive young ladies. Oh Lord, oh Rabata. Oh Lord, oh Lord, my God. Sure. Do you know you can design and most brothers will begin to buy and wear and sister, what are you doing? It is another fashion. Do you know millions of dollars some designers get? I was seeing, I was listening to the interview of a designer of a particular, a particular billionaire and he was saying as simple as that shirt is, he designed for approximately 50 million naira for one billionaire. All you young men, all your energy you have is to be running and clamping first to steal. That energy can enter sport. That energy can enter football. That energy can enter long tennis. That energy can be, you know how to fight. You are aggro. Can you go into boxing? Can you go into wrestling? Alamagodia. All your potential is to beat your wife. Go and join boxing. Let your mate box you down. Hey! How many have I given you? Eh? Five. Number six, get where a pillar of influence is family. 
family, there is nobody in life that wants to create influence that must not be attached to a family. And hear me, your family can make you or marry you. In the gateway of influence in life, even to become a president, they have to look at your family background. Your wife, what is your family story, history? When I'm talking about, are you, they can decide to enter your family, your co-contestants, and use your family to run you down. And say, you cannot take care of your family, how can you take care of a nation? Family! Family! When my mother was alive, she would tell me, run, run to your mom and into your jail. Atakpata di deli ojer. You are coming from nothing. Please represent the name where. Family is at the gateway of influence. If your family does not have name, through you they will have a name. And the name can become a door that will open the legacy of your family. Am I helping you today? I see you entering that place. You shall be relevant. You shall be relevant. If you shout that amen, you are the one I'm prophesying to now. Number seven or six, government. No matter how powerful you are, <laughs> no matter how powerful you are, your government can determine how great you will become. Your government. Your government can determine. If you are with the wrong government, your life can be destroyed. It's another pillar of influence. People who enter politics, they become rich overnight, either by crook hook or by legitimate method. I pray for you. You will not miss it in life. I say you will not miss it in life. I thought you were shouting that amen. Well, if you shout that amen like thunder, I declare you move to the next level. 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 Shout that fire by thunder. Shout fire. If that amen is louder, a breakthrough is coming now. A breakthrough is coming now. The Lord announced you under 48 hours. Can I go further by saying this? The last one is business. It's another pillar of influence. You enter business. You make influence. Get way to prosperity. Every businessman hearing the sound of my voice in less than 30 days you will touch what you have never touched in your life. Now let me show you something and then we are going to pray. Mm, number 16 verse 3 now watch this. Now I want to round up by giving you this and then we are going to pray. Hear me. And they gathered themselves together against Moses and against Aaron and said unto them, Yet take, ye take too much upon you, seeing all the congregation are holy and every one of them and the Lord is among them. Wherefore then lift ye up yourself above this congregation those who gather is Korah. Korah. These men, they came to Moses. They said, why, why are you lifting up yourself as if you are better than us? Now, if you read that place, the people talking are not ordinary people. They say all the congregation are holy. Please, please let's read it again. 16.3. I want to show you something about what God does with the choosing and then we are going to pray. And they gathered themselves together against Moses. Aaron. And said unto them, ye take too much. You are taking too much. You are prophesying too much. You are talking too much. Seeing all the congregation, everybody here is holy. Every one of them 
and the Lord is among them. Wherefore then, lift ye up yourself above the congregation. He said, the Lord is among us. That was a true report. They had the Holy Ghost. They now say, you, you are lifting up yourself as if you are better. If you talk of holiness, we have holiness. If you talk about God, we have God. Go on to verse 4. Let me show you something. I want us to pray. And Moses heard, and he fell on his face. Go on. And he spake unto Korah, and they, unto all his company, saying, even tomorrow the Lord will show who are his, and who is holy, and will cause him to come near unto him. Even him whom he had chosen, will he cause to come near unto him. He said, okay, tomorrow we will see. Now, when you read on, they all gathered. They gathered. And when the tomorrow came, there were 250 other people. Korah and the rest. <laughs> Where they were, the ground opened and swallowed them, including their cattle, household. If their, their animals in the field received judgment, even despite the fact they are holy. You don't fight the choosing. All of us can be holy, but in the holy, there is the choosing. Now, I'm going somewhere. Everybody can run a race, but it's not everybody that is choosing in the race. Number 17, this is where I'm going to. It's against this background that God spoke to Moses. 17.1. Let's read. I want us to read and then we are going to pray. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, A prophet is a one that hears what God is saying, not what God has said. What God is saying is different from what God has said. A teacher is the one that teaches on what God said. A prophet is the one that hears what God is saying. Current affair. Or a lower, lower, lower by. We are not talking about the said. We are talking about what he said. We can look into the seed of time. We can speak by what God said. He's saying now, we might not know all, but what he's saying is what we will say. Many a time as a prophet, I don't agree with what he's saying, but I have to say what he's saying. Because I have become relevant by what he is saying, not what he said alone. What he said is important, but what he's saying is relevant. Put the next verse. Are you ready? God is about to say something to you now. Speak unto the children of Israel and take of every one of them a rod according to the house of their fathers of all their princes according to the house of their fathers twelve rods write thou every man's name upon it can I get twelve people here standing maybe six sister six brothers because I don't want sisters to feel that this is a man's world. If I have umbrella, you are going to stand for a long time. So, oh yeah. Once it is twelve, uh, six sisters, six brothers. Oh yeah, la da ya. Oh, six. How many? Let's go here. One, two, three, four, five. Two from that place, come and join so that you don't think. Okay. Yeah. Have you complete? Yes, sorry. Eh? Don't worry, you're part. Do I have umbrellas here? Yeah? 
sticks here. Anyone? Anyone? Okay. Sticks here. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. You can go. Thank you. You have umbrellas. Just make it a stick. Make it a stick. Just. Can I get more umbrellas? I just need 12. Umbrella stick. Umbrella stick. Umbrella stick. Yes. Just, yes. I need more. More. No. Don't open it. Don't open it. Just give them. More. 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 Just give them. Tight it. Tight it. Give them. Tight it. Please. No, the person you give your umbrella. I don't want to hear say, Pastor, by the time you were preaching, my umbrella lost. And say, you must pay me my umbrella and you now go and write and accuse me. There are so many legal, legal things like that that we just come. Somebody will just write. Fold it. Fold it to be like a stick. Fold it. Tight it. Yeah. Do I have more, 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 more? Make it a stick. Ah. Make it look like a stick. <laughs> take it, take it up, take it up, take your. God spoke to Moses from the twelve tribe of Israel. Pick twelve men to represent the twelve tribe from the Tatistis. States in Nigeria pick 36 men to represent each state, including F City, where Joshua Gila is residing. I don't need the people, I need one man. If I can get one man, I will get all the people from Igila family, from Memuna family. From Akban family, from Vero family, from Chijoke family, from Musa family. I need one man, one man. Just one, one, one. I don't need two. Speak. Because when I want to do something, I don't need crowd. I need one. That's what people don't understand. The only reason why Africa has not gone up, we are not one. There is the association of the European country, Schengen. You get one of their visa, you can enter all through because they are speaking one language. Africa, we have divided ourselves to West Africa, South Africa, East Africa, Central Africa. And that is why our power is not one. And that is why our strength has been divided by our colonial master because they are profiting from our division. You need visa to Af South Africa. You need visa to Kenya. You need visa here and there. We have divided. Can I say I have never seen a race that is so divided, so divided, so hateful like the African brother. We cannot learn. We feel we are superior than the other. We have limited our currency. We have limited our entire trade capacity by our demarcation and restriction. Hateful, powerful, with all the mineral resources, with all the solid mineral, and yet divided. Oh, Africa, go and learn from the earth. They are so many, but yet they have a leader that leads them. They can align, they can walk. I don't know. No wonder when I saw Nelson Mandela and they asked him about Gaddafi, he said he stood by us during our struggle. Your enemies can be our enemy. Only Africa understand that we are brothers. We will go nowhere. Pick me. Twelve men from each of the tribes. And the other boys here. And all of them should have their rod. The tribe of Judah is here. 
The tribe of Reuben is here. The tribe of Simon is here. The tribe of Zebulun is here. The tribe of Levi is here. All the tribes are here. They are here. But they are not here as a group. They are here as an individual with a rod. So, let everyone come with his rod. Hear me, sir. Ma, everybody cannot be lifted up at once in your family. We need one person. And the one person is not chosen by us. Because if they ask you to choose, you will choose yourself. Most of you have killed your breadwinner. Because you feel they are not qualified to be among you. But they came here because of you. But you don't know. Because if God asks you to choose, you will choose yourself. But he knows your limit. He knows how greedy you are if you get here. So he decided to pick the one that you feel is irrelevant. He might not be intelligent. He might not be wise. It is because of his foolishness God picked him. So that he can be foolish to take care of all of you. Because you are too wise to spend the money alone. Ah! Uh -huh. Oh Lord, help me not to kill my breadwinner. Help me, some of you, the reason why you are suffering, your breadwinner, the helper, the chosen one has been killed by the 11 brothers of Joseph. Some Joseph never made it. They died before they got to the palace because the injury they sustained in the pit was too much and the betrayal was painful that they died before they ascended. Go to verse 3. Are we, are we round up here? 12 men, 12 men. Are you here? And thou shalt write Aaron's name upon the rod of Levi. For one rod shall be for the head of the house of their fathers. Go on to verse 4. If I read on. Put verse 4. And thou shalt lay them. Huh? And thou shalt lay them up in the tabernacle of the congregation. Wherefore, before the testimony, where have we meet with you? Go to verse 5. I will still go back to verse 3. I'm, I, I'm saying something. Go to verse 5. And it shall come to pass that the man's rod whom I shall choose shall close them and I will make to cease from me the murmuring of the children of Israel whereby they murmured against you. Now, he said now, upon every rod, write their names on it. Hear me. A whole village was represented by one man. But the one man is not writing the name of the village, but his name. Because if she makes it, the whole village makes it. If he makes it, the whole state makes it. If he makes it, the whole country makes it. Write their name. When I read that, I thought the name was written because God wanted to recognize them. And God said no. The reason why I said they should write their name is not for me. I am Omini Science. I know all of them name. I ask them to write their name so that when I choose, they will know the one that was chosen by name. Hear me. The name of a man must be great before he becomes great. Genesis 12, 1 and 2. Abraham, I will make thy name great. The first step of greatness is the making of the name. That is why when an attack is on a man's name, it's on a man's destiny. Write your name. Carry a paper now and write your name. Write your name. You stay. Don't worry. Call your name to that home, brother. Now, now write your name. Carry a paper. Write your name. Ha ha ha! He knows my name. Yalada da ba di yabada ba di. Yada ya 
dada ya dada dada ya Ika bada dada Oh sada dia dada dia Hey sada dada Ila dada 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 Yes Yeah Ila dada bazota ya dada Hey Ila dada dia dada dia dada Ila dada dada dia dada dada ya dada Hey Oh sada dada Knows my name. He has me. Everything. He knows me. He led the yada da di yada da. Oh shada yada di ya. Wait. All of them, right now, God is dealing with a whole family, a whole state, a whole country, but He's asking for one person to write His name to represent the whole family. There is a craft spirit. Everybody want their name to be there. They don't know that when Aaron's name is written, all the Levites are written. He uses one person for all. That's why when God raises you up for people, and people begin to rise up from you, don't complain. If you complain, you will die in an entity. Because some people are a nation. Why some are an individual? Some of us are territorial commander. In us, there is a nation. So when people rise up from us, we can't get angry because we are a nation. You need to understand. So if you have a singular view of a kind of us, you will be angry while we understand what we are. Some people are carrying swimming pool. Some are ocean. Now, can we go forward? Their names are written. Are your name written now? Go to the next verse. Let's read. Let's read. Let's read. I just want to show you something now. And Moses spoke. Unto the children of Israel, every one of them, their princes gave, gave him a rod and a piece for which the prize won according to their fathers and houses. When the twelve rods and the rod of Aaron was among their rods. Go on, go on, go on, go on. And Moses led the rod before the Lord in the tabernacle of weakness. Give me the rod. Please remember, give me. Give me, yes. Put it in my hands. Put it. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me. Stay here. I'm, I'm face here. Now, Moses went to the tabernacle. I'm making illustration now for you two bus. They will soon say, I carry umbrella now. The Moses plays the rod. In the presence of God, in the testimony of Tabernacle. All of you stand like this and face here. Now watch this. Agabadagada. Do you trust your prophet enough to undo your rod into his hands for the next level of your destiny? Everyone might be a rod, but it's not everyone that can assess the holies. He took the rod. Now, when I studied that, the Bible said, Overnight! Overnight, hear me. 
listen to me, overnight, the rod of one person among them booted. That means flower grew from the rod. And ah, God spoke to me. I know you did not see it. The Lord said to me, among the choosing, there is the choosing. You don't get it. Among the choosing, there is the choosing. When you reach through, you will never see where the Bible said, mention the name of any one of them that was written, except the name of one, Aaron. Favor is divine partiality. The Lord told Moses, then you shall write the name of Aaron. Now, I read through, I don't know, maybe you can, I stand to be corrected. I did not see any other name written there. Only the name of one person among the chosen. And Moses was the one that wrote the name. Sometime, if a man does not recommend you, nobody will accept you. The authenticity of some men is still in the hands of men who are close to God to make the men relevant. He wrote the name of Aaron. And the names of the other ones, I don't know how they were written, but I know the name of Aaron was clearly stated out. Favor is when God decides to go partial with you. For you. <laughs> God, I don't like Joshua Aguilar, but why do you bless him? Ask him. Now, let me show you something. One night, the rod of Aaron came out with flowers, fresh. Then God said to me, when I studied this, he said, when you enter my presence, you don't need a good soil. I am already your soil. There is no way you can plant crop and over a night it will easily germinate, produce and produce fresh fruit. It can never happen. But in the presence of God, when there is hardship, you become a good soil. The presence of God becomes a good soil. Can I pray for some of you here? Under 24 hours, your dry rods are produced. I thought you were shouting that amen well. Shout the amen like thunder. Shout the amen like thunder. Your dry rods are produced. They are asking you, where is the ground? Tell them I don't know any ground. I am in the presence of Shekinah glory. If I enter his presence, my rod shall produce. Am I talking to somebody here? In less than 24 hours, that business shall blossom. That savage gate shall blossom. I'm not hearing that amen well. That one shouting amen, you will blossom. Yes. Yes. Hey, Yagadabada. Ladies and gentlemen, I know what they call photosynthesis, in which green plants manufacture their food in the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight. Hear me, there was no photosynthesis. The whole place was covered. There was no sunlight. He defied all zoological terminology. All agricultural terminology. I prophesy photosynthesis or not, you will produce. I say this year, this month, my names are Joshua Igila. 
I am your spiritual father. You will produce. Ladies and gentlemen, there was no sunlight in the midst of darkness. Hide me in the prison. I will produce. Take me to Sahara Desert. I will produce. Take me anywhere. I will produce. If I am in his presence, heaven is breathing on me. Hey! Lift up your leg and shut fire. Hey! hey. Hey, yeah, 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 there was no rainfall. Whether there is rain or no rain, because I am choosing, my rod will produce. Whether there is rain or no rain, because I am choosing, my rod will produce. Hey! Hey! Aya la badia da 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 badia. Yeah, listen to me. We are twelve. Why is only one producing? Then God spoke to me. When you are carnal, you can't receive supernatural. In my mind, the 11 were farmers. And I said, how can our rod produce when we have not planted it? There is no rain. As I'm preaching now, some of you, don't mind them, that's how they preach. That is where you have lost it. One of them is saying, I don't care all the agricultural law I'm not consigned that's God's edict if it gets to the presence of God I don't know how it will work <laughs> my rod bothered the reason why my heart yielded people don't just produce the reason why you suspect some people using juju is because how we got here is not by carnality. It is spirituality. Even me, I cannot explain how I got here. If it is explainable, it is under the region of man. When it becomes supernatural, under 24 hours, a mango tree can come out. Hear me. <laughs> he took Aaron. I don't even know the person who have this. Who have this? It's your own. Okay. He took Aaron own. It booted. <laughs> when God choose one person among you, He has choose everyone. Amen. If it is in my neighborhood, I am a neighbor to the neighbor where the things is happening. So He's around me. Hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me. He has chosen you. Not because you know how to pray more than these people. Mm -mm. He has chosen you. Not because you are better than this person. Favor just qualified you. Now, if 
For my illustration, all of you are choosing. All of you go there, carry your own and come back here. I want to pray for you. I want to show you something. When God is preparing you for the future, oh God, he gives you what is bigger than you. Yes, That's the last illustration and I'm going to pray for all of you. Adadia. family, for your country, for your nation, for your state. If you get there and think only of yourself, he will take the glory away from you. He picked you for the family. You can be angry, you can be bitter, but your assignment is not for you, it's for all. Reason why you cannot kill some people their hands are open. When you get here, anytime you had 100 billion, it's not for you. It's for the whole people tied to your loins. If you eat it alone, you will soon die prematurely. Your glory is in the glory around you. It's in the glory around you. Your glory is in the glory of people around you. If you eat it alone. Some of you have been lifted up. And you forgot the reason why you were lifted up. It was the cry of your family. It was the cry of your mother. It was the cry of your village. It was the cry of your auntie. It was the cry. The reason. The reason why your rod was taken. Oh Reuben. Ah, oh Judah, oh Simon, oh Levi. It's for the whole community, not you. Ah, it's a misplace of priority. When the tribe of Judah is supporting the tribe of Levi and abandoning the tribe of Judah. You have supported other tribes and your tribes are suffering. Your tribes have been suffering. Your tribes are suffering. Tata, ikata, tata, 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 ikata, tata. Hey! Alatabushada. Go and sit down. I'm running up. Give me five minutes. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down, let me round up. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Elements of life, things around life are fighting for you now. Am I helping somebody here? Can I have somebody who is fat with a suit? Fat, fat, fat. Hooch with a suit. Very hooch. I want somebody who, yes, that brother. Can I get a small boy? Who is 10, 11, 12? Come. Small boy, no. I want, I want a small boy. A small boy. Come. Come. Okay, come. Oh, come, come up. Oh, come. Come here. Oh, come here. Okay, yeah. Come, brother. I'm giving you the last illustration. Our God, 
our God. Our God is a God when he prepares you for the future, it does not give you your size. Mm -hmm. When you come around him, this is his size. When he gets to God, He pulls it. Pull it. Pull that. Oh. Come bring it. Do it. Pull it out for me. Our God is on song. Oh Lord, you are higher than her. Pull it. When God wants to lift you up, He does not sew your coat according to your material, according to His material. Hear me? It does not fit Him, but God wears Him, not for today, but for tomorrow. You are loving him because it does not fit him. But a fashion designer, he's seen 10 years from now that the guy is going to grow up and become fitable. You don't like the way he looks, but God likes the way he looks. Hey! Divide the screen for me. Hey! I don't like the way I look, but God wear me this way. You can laugh at me, but I am designed to fit my future. I might not look like it, but I'm going to grow into it. He designed my clothes according to his own size and material. So are you watching? You don't like the way he looks. But God likes the way he looks. You know they are laughing at you because of this oversized material. They are telling you it does not fit you. Tell them no problem. Ah! Obi shall grow. Obi go to school every day. Ah! You know? We kept buying shoes for my son, Rema. And before we know, he has had grown it by size. And mama said to me, she said, let's buy oversized because this boy is growing very faster. I think he's growing like my father. That's mama father. He's light in complexion and a little bit taller. <laughs> and, and then I said, I said, I agree with you because before we know, one month, phew, something has happened. So, God started speaking to me about this illustration. He said, son, when I wear you some garments, it might not fit you. They might laugh at you, but carry yourself. My son, walk around. Carry yourself. Let them be laughing at you. Carry yourself. It looks big on me. It 
is funny on me, but favor looks sweet on me. Favor looks sweet on me. My hands might not carry it. My shoulder might not carry it. My body might not carry it, but my future carry it. Can I round up here? <laughs> This is how most of you are. They are laughing you. You don't look like it. They are using your current oversize because he no fit you. But he fit you. Now you don't know. God is seeing a giant. They are seeing a boy. Okay, I will leave you here. You will go in peace. You can go. Thank you, Lord. Oh, yalada. Now the boy has grown big now. He has become matured. He has taken the shape of his future. When you are growing, you don't know. Mm, you don't know. When you grow, over all, all of a sudden, my majesty in the twinkling of an eye, he is everywhere now. He wakes me up in the morning, shout on my ear and prophesy, climb the bed, cause confusion, come down and laugh. And when he laughs again, he run. And I just remember the day in the favor world where I took him in the pool of blood. And I smile. When you grow, you don't know. Don't be in a hurry. You see that material, you will grow and fit it. If not for grace, tell me why for grace to this. If not for grace, tell me why for me today. I could never You are there for me. What a total. You got it for me. Favor fits you. They laugh at you yesterday. They don't know that 10 years later you will be in your duplex. They do not know you will carry your baby. They do not know you will dedicate that house. You will dedicate that business, hotel. You will dedicate that estate. They said the vision was oversized. This is you now. Walk and bounce around. It's no longer oversized. It fits you. Favor look good on you. Favor look good on you. Money look good on you. Children look good on you. Marriage look good on you. Happiness look good on you. Sweet life look good on you. Joy look good on you. My name's are Joshua Igila. I prophesy your oversized glory. It looks good on you. Enter your size. Enter your size. Enter your size. One thousand of you. So a seat to that. Enter. 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 Yagadadadaba.
Favor look good on me. Hey! You are saying, why am I doing everything and it is working? I read when it was oversized. When the vision was bigger than me, I grew by stature. I grew by wisdom. I grew by experience. I grew by endurance. I grew by perseverance. I insist, persist. I endure action. Then I took the structure. What you see now is not an overnight. It's not magic. It's a product of process. Stand up, everybody. Holy Agadaba. Biboluara Odara. Hey, Odara. Biboluaga. Odara. Odara. In my life, that we make my enemy to wonder. Open your mouth and pray. My father, my father, my father. Do wonder. Do wonder. That we make my enemy to wonder. To wonder. Ecco, 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 ecco
me. You are going to say, My father, my father. use me for my family. Use me for my country. Open your mouth say, Use me. Open me. Open your mouth and pray. moment in Africa and as a prophet of God the signs I'm seeing they are not good I said to you two weeks ago that there's a tsunami that is coming to Africa leaders especially the ones who are not sensitive to see the signs that are coming. 
I would have loved to mention some of these countries, but I want to be careful not to hit any side. As a matured prophet, I just want to put it Africa. You would have been able to see the confirmation of my prophecy. During the crossover, I talked about Gabon specifically. I talked about the health of the president and then I now talked about the month of July, August, and September. And I said, I don't want to talk more than that. Um, I don't know if um, my media had that prophecy. It's very important. African leaders should spend time to provide good leadership and also to work on the process that takes them to power and should give electoral promises by fulfilling them. If not, more tsunami is coming as you sit down to combat the menace and the military intervention in our democracy, which I'm not in support of. Please, our good leaders in Africa, spend time to look at your electoral promises. Let's listen to this prophecy. Africa, Africa. I weep for my continent. The prophet of God, Brother Joshua E. Ginla, on the 1st of January, 2023, spoke the mind of God about the nation states of Africa, saying they should pray for their democracy as he sees military intervention in most African countries. Most African countries should pray against attack on their democracy so that their democracy should not be truncated. I see military intervention. in most African countries between now Africa Africa I weep for my continent the prophet of God brother Joshua E. Ginla on the 1st of January 2023 spoke the mind of God about the nation states of Africa saying they should pray for their democracy as he sees military intervention in most African countries. Most African countries should pray against attack on their democracy. When one single individual is amassing wealth, please at the table here, when one single individual is amassing wealth that the whole people, the whole continent needs to eat, we will see these kind of things. I pray for you, you will not miss it in the name of Jesus. I pray for our leaders, God will keep them. Them, them wisdom. All African leaders, you see, the key is not to change your military heads, change your brigade of guards. The key is so that their democracy keep. should not be truncated. I see military intervention in most Africa. Africa. I weep for my continent. 
The Prophet of God, Brother Joshua E. Ginla, on the 1st of January 2023, spoke the mind of God about the nation states of Africa, saying they should pray for their democracy as he sees military intervention in most African countries. Most African countries should pray against attack on their democracy so that their democracy should not be truncated. I see military intervention in most African countries. Between now and 2028, we need to pray that African countries' democracy should be sustained, that we should not have people with uniform coming back to rule in a country where they have experienced democracy. Furthermore, he said, the president of Gabon should pray for his health and also added that prayers be made for the nation of Gabon, precisely stating the month of July, August and October 2023. The president of Gabon should pray. God is the giver of life. God is the sustainer of life. The Lord will keep you, your health. I don't want to talk more. Let's pray for the month of July, August, October this year for that country. And the Lord will keep that country in the name of Jesus. On the 30th of August, 2023, it was seen on BBC News that the president of Gabon, President Bongo, has been placed on house arrest by the military. Now, the president of Gabon, Ali Bongo, is reported to be under house arrest along with members of his family after army officers claimed they've seized power. They said they were annulling the results of Saturday's election in which President Ali Bongo was declared the winner. This is the moment the military made the announcement on national television. Au nom du peuple Gabonais. In the name of the people of Gabon and as guarantors of the institutions, we have decided to defend peace by putting an end to the current regime. To this end, the general elections of the 26th of August, 2023, and the truncated results are cancelled. The borders are closed until further notice. All the institutions of the Republic are dissolved. So annulé. In alignment to these prophecies, on the 6th of August, 2023, the man of God, Brother Joshua Iginla, also warned African leaders to take caution and added that the coup which has started is just a tip and another is coming soon. African leaders, be careful. You are wonderful leaders, but you must deliver the dividends of democracy to the citizens. Because what is coming to Africa is like a tsunami. And the people that will escape this, will only escape this with truth and sincerity to the people. There is a provocation that is different from only military intervention. It is the massive movement of the youth. I'm not talking about Nigeria alone. I'm talking about Africa. Our leaders, if there's anything you need to do, do it quickly. Our great leaders in Africa. I told you, I said, Africans should pray against coup. And not only that. This one you are talking now is elementary. There's another one warming up that will soon come. Another one is warming up. There's another one that will be fuel and the city power will escape it, but it's a sign. In tenderness, he said, Africa, Africa. I weep for my continent. Deuteronomy 18, 18b, and I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. Hallelujah. Now, how you will know that I am a prophet is by this sign. There is two coming. The other one I said here is different from these two. That one will come, it will be averted. It's not among the two. You will see. That one, when it comes, I will not mention the country. I'm seeing it. You will see it in the news. 
It will be an egg that is about to be ash, but um, there will be timely intervention. But this two coming. How do you know I'm a prophet? There's something that has to do with the letter C, the letter T, letter P. There's something that has to do with 24, 25, 26, and the sixth. I will leave it at that. You, when the prophecy come together, we put the puzzle and explain why I spoke to you in this form. Because it's very sensitive. In that prophecy, there are two things that is yet to be fulfilled. And one is the one that will come that will be averted. But these two I'm talking coming like tsunami. There's nothing anybody can do about it. It will come. Nothing. It will come. Nothing. Now, why I said we should pray for the president of Gabon? Some of you think it's because of his health. No. We prayed for his life. If I were his excellency, you need to be grateful to God. That coup was supposed to take your life. You know, message was sent to me from there. I, ref I refused to respond because I knew it was going to come to pass. Please, thank God that you are alive. Take a bow. Live there. Let another person come. Your life is more important. You have done your part. Let others come in. Am I in support of military? No. But whatever happened, happened. What is coming that is most important that most African leaders should look on is beyond military intervention. Is the movement of provoked youth. <laughs> it is beyond military. It is beyond military. I'm seeing restlessness that will be boiling in the blood of most youth. Governments of Africa, engage your youth. Help them from this menace. Don't eat the money that your children's children should depend on. If not, Macbeth has mother sleep and Macbeth shall sleep no more. Now, I have a prophetic advice for you are an employer of labor, you are a CEO, you are a director, you are in the position to employ people. I'm begging you, stop embarrassing and assaulting our young ladies. Sleeping with them before you offer them jobs. Taking advantage of qualified graduates. Giving them addresses to hotel for a job they are qualified for. Your children will soon look for a job one day. Stop harassing, assaulting, and embarrassing and taking advantage of young ladies who are qualified because you are in position. Your position is to do justice. We are in the days where the qualified no longer have it. It is those who are ready to sleep with you that become qualified. Please, if you are in position, use your position well. Life is too short to take advantage of ladies. If you are a pastor and you have slept with a lady and she is coming out to cry that you have done injustice, don't use lie to cover your sin. Confess, forsake, repent, and do the needful. This issue of lying to cover lie, lie to cover lie, it does not pay. Yes, you are a man, you have made mistakes. That's not the end. If you genuinely repent, your work will not fail. The only reason why your work will fail is when you use lie to cover lie. If you are a young lady, I beg you, when you sleep with politicians, you don't make noise. When you sleep with entertainers, you don't make noise. When you sleep with some businessmen, you don't make noise. But when you sleep with a pastor, 
you make noise. Don't make it a business to blackmail pastor. It does not pay. Repent. Give Jesus a clamp of it. <laughs> Are you blessed? Are you blessed? I thought you are blessed. Mm. See the way you love me. See the way you care for me. pray for you. Some surprises that will happen for you this year that will put you above your enemies. I put it into your hearts. I thought you were shouting that amen well. Sit down. Sir, please, you need to pray against stroke. You hear me? You don't used to sleep in the night. You are just worried. Mm -hmm. There is so much battle. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. They, are, they are fighting you everywhere. Yes, sir. They are taking your names to places that sometimes when you sit, sit down, you are worried. Actually. You feel headache, headache, headache. Actually. There's an angel of wealth around you. You, you. you don't even know where you are going. Amen. If God show you where he's taking you to, Amen. it's bigger than where you are. Amen. It's big, big, big. Amen. Some of the dreams you dream yes. is not what you are seeing now. Yes, sir. But mighty things are about to happen. Amen. The hand of God is so much on you. Amen. And your time has come. Amen. Bring the oil. There are five doors just open Amen. as I'm talking to you. Amen. And I'm seeing you in two countries. Amen. Two. Amen. Two. Amen. Thank you, Father. All you have lost, and they are coming back. Amen. Oh, Shadaba. <sighs> ah, Shada. Come here. The name of Jesus. Bring him here. This is the raw demonstration of the power of God. Kay! Kay! He got her. Bring him here. The power of God surges through his body and oh, the God yeah. of champions takes him to the next oh. level of his life. Come. 
Bring him. This is the power of God. Sister, you are in a cage. But I remove you from the cage. Kashata ila baruska paria parasku para. There is a lot of but even you there's sickness in your body. Pray against diabetes and blood pressure. Yes, I have it, sir. Eh? I have it, sir. Did you talk to me about it? Eh? Eh? Me too is my first time of seeing you. your wife? You. Yes. Come here. Another prophetic location. There is a medical report. Multiple fibroid. That's, that's, eh? that's, why, we are here. that's why you are here. Yes. It's one of the usher you here. I watch watch I, it in media. You watch me. Even me, I'm watching you in my own media. You are going to have a female child and after that, another boy and after that twins boy and girl Abdul Malik Muhammad Munirat ah, this is your holy friend they have blocked your way but your way has opened they don't even want you to progress at all you see them pursuing you in dream they pursue you they pursue you they pursue you. if i be a true prophet anyone assigned to stop your productivity they die by fire where is it give them the champions is fimole the result. <laughs> you were in this church. I prophesied to a woman who is 10 years barren. I told them they're going to have twins. I told them where the birth mark will be. They got the twins. They brought the twins for me. As I was holding the child, I spoke again. I said, another twins is coming. They got another twins. When they came, they said, no talk again. If you doubt the prophecy, arrange the result. <laughs> I came here with traveling bag. 
I did not have money. What brought me here is result. Result. Argue my prophecy, but you can't argue my result. Are you hearing me? As I'm prophesying now, money you have never touched will enter your heart. Come and arrange Nigerian prophecy. Come and arrange it. Where all bishops and everybody were saying another thing. I, if you think it's arranged, arrange it. Come and try it if you will not lose your ministry. We do it. You've been thinking so many things. Come, come. I will only touch you. It's done. It's done. You will come and testify here. Amen. I, I say you will come and testify. Amen. You will come and testify. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. It's done. Your family is a very big family, but there are battles. Yes. There's strong poverty, and the hand of God is upon you to change the story. Yes. And God will use you to change the story. Amen. Come, 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 come. Oh. The mind of God has declared he has been his family. Ah. He receives I a divine God. touch from the prophet of God. Yeah. Mm. Demonstration of the power of God. Oh. You work so hard, but when it is time for results, it has not been easy. You are right. Eh? You're very right. Your time of result has come. Amen. Oh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The God of champions oh. is granting the desires of his heart. In this prophetic atmosphere, the God of champions is changing lives. Thank you, Lord. There's a lot of battles, hey, my sister. A lot of battles. You came from a very big family. You saw me in the dream. I was talking to you about yes. Joshua. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was talking to you about Joshua. Ah, 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 ah. Is it true? Yes, leave her hand. Leave her. Leave her. She yes, sir. The prophecy. There's battle, battle, battles. Yes, Among your mother's children, they are just killing you people one after the other. Yes, Is it true? Yes, you people are just dying one after the other. Yes, one yes, after yes, the yes, other. Yes, they are just killing. And all of you are stars, but they are fighting everybody. My father was his only great, great. Eh? Great, great. I'm not hearing her well. Eh? Uh, you say what? My father has his grave. If you go there, only grave you will visit. You will see grave. Only grave you will visit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, eleven. Only grave you will visit. Uh? Nobody is there. Nobody is there. Mm. Nobody is there. Nobody is there. Nobody is there. What's your name? Gloria. Gloria. Oh. There was one that slept and did not wake up. Just died mysteriously. Yes, sir. The God of champions reveals the There's this one receiving call, strange call. And he died just like that. You, you have a very great star. What? You, you see dead, 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 dead. Battles, battles. Enough of this dead. Amen. Who is judge? Who is judge? One of my brother. 
Please just answer me because I'm seeing things. Who is Ima? Emmanuel is dead. He's my brother. So. Who is Emeka? Ah, all of them are dead. All of them are dead. Yes. Incense. I'm looking at this one. I see love. I see Gloria. Yes. I'm Gloria. You are Gloria. Is our last one. Mm. They can't kill you people again. Hallelujah. You too. You have children and they are stars. And they want to start killing them one after the other. God forbid. Hear me, I want to pray for all of them. You will not bury anyone. Amen. Who is David? That one carry glory and is a leader, a leader, a leader. Who is success? Is she speaks more than I age? There is a glory on that one, and there is an angel of music on that one. And nobody can think who is favor. That I see the way of this one, and I see this one abroad, abroad in the future. I see grace. I see Joshua. Come here. She's not going back the same as the God of champion is putting an end to every spirit of death. Uh -huh. Who want to kill me? Uh -huh. Who? Who want to kill me? Anyone assigned to kill you will die your dead. We cry your cry. We die your dead. We cry your cry. We die your dead. We cry your cry. In the name of Jesus. Hey, brother, come, 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 come. There is an angel behind you. Stand here. Your time of glory has come. Ika ta ta ta. Sister, you come there. You, 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 you. Yes, there is a new garment on you. New garment on you. Ta, 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 ta. Lay. Come, you, you, you. God wants to use you for your family. You are like the Deborah of your family. Ta, ta, ta. Lexantara. There are five major dogs. Stand here. God is using you for something above your capacity. Come, 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 yes, come. What makes you cry is over. There is a star. Bring him here. Bring him here. Somebody shut fire. Shut fire. Hey. Repeat after me, I shall not die. The Lord said, I'm fighting your battle. Amen. I'm fighting your battle. Amen. I'm fighting your Amen. battle. I see Amen. six angels Amen. drawing sword because of you. And the Lord said, your time has come. Your time has come. Your time has come. I've spoken it. It's done. Eta I see celebration, my daughter. It's your time. If I be a true prophet, your time. Come here. Among your mother's children, the Lord is about to use you to do what nobody has done. I saw the key of the family in your hands. Your rod will put. Your rod will put. Your rod will put. Your rod will put. Come here. I see a key of the house. Hey, we sitting on my glory. If I be a prophet, you like this dimension. Come here and take it. Parata. Hey, paratata. Come here, come here. The gates are open. The gates are open. The gates are open. The gates are open. Hey, come here. Come here. You can't serve on this altar and not get your hand. Hey, parantayala. Hear me, the Lord has remembered you. If I be God, your star will shine. It will shine. Hey, sister, this is your time.
Mira. This is a dynamic prophetic move at the city of wonders through our Father in the Lord. Oh, yeah, da 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 da. Oh, da 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 da. Kotoli, ya da da da. Iga da 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 da. Ile de 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 badi, ya da 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 da. Oh, ya da da da. Oh, ga da. Oh, I know me sorry. Hey, shut up! Hey, look here! Hey, come! Hey, come! Look here! You cannot hold her again! You cannot hold her again! Let her be! You cannot hold her again! I speak as a prophet! You cannot hold her again! You are going to die. Come here with her. Sorrow. Oluwa mi sorrow. Baba sorrow. Kuyo. All over the world. The spirit is moving. All over. I got to her. The spirit of God said, Ask her. Who told her she's going to die? Who is she? My your biological daughter. Yes, my you friend. gave to her, birth to her 2018. Yes, Is it true? Yes, so, so that you know I'm not guessing. Yes, mm. yes, That her daughter told her she is going to die. Wait, let me ask you. You carry that in your womb? Yes, that with fibroids and right ovarian. You with fibroids. And right ovarian. Who is this person? Fibroids, my husband. Your husband. Yes, sir. Are you aware of this? Yes, sir. What did she say? She told her that she is going to die. She, they sent her to kill her. Did you people beat her or she just stuck? No. Huh? Okay, no. On the thought of Monday. Monday On Monday, she started she, talking. On the of August, she yeah. started telling me when I sent her to lesson, then she gets back. No, no, let me tell you so that you know that I know what yes, I'm saying. Jesus, she talked about Cardini Junction. Yes. Cardini Junction. Yes, She's I not got... the only person. Yes. They go together. I'm going to, I will not make her to talk. I don't want to stigmatize yes. my daughter. Mm. Yeah? Jesus, thank you. She's thank going to be the, hey. She herself doesn't like what is going on. Yes, she said me she's lying up the mess up. Don't worry. Hey. Don't talk oh, again. I don't want to you. talk more than this. I will pray thank for her. Thank you, Jesus. How are you, my daughter? Hi. Eh? Why? Don't worry. You don't know that your children need prayer. I don't want to stigmatize her. 
I just want to pray for her to be delivered. That's all. Papa, is it true? Yes, it's true. It's bigger than her. When there is a spirit bigger, it can enter anything. If it enter peak, it can enter anything. Mm. Ah. Imije imole ninu okukun aye yi imole Jesu tontoni aye gogo agbara ishuda ni bi ti Jesu pe joba agbara ishuda ko si ho They talk anyhow. You don't know how life is spiritual. If I tell you what I have survived, you know why I first asked them? Because I've seen, I know exactly, I don't want her to talk too much. Mm -mm. Because I, I, by the time I finish with her, because I'm going to see you, yes, never you use it against her. No, no. Yeah? No. Even because some, small baby, we, sometimes you are afraid. Yes, you are afraid. I even run yesterday to sleep out. I know. My husband, because I sleep in the area that I'm living it's not I that, in. Cuba. It's not that you beat her. Do you know why she came up to talk to you? No. You don't know? No. You don't know? No. It's God that arrested her. Yes, it's my father. Yes, yes. Because when God. she's talking, you thought she was joking. Yes. You were even saying, well, what are you saying? No, but I tell her, continue telling me so that I'll let more. Then after you heard now, you started running from her. Yes, I am don't, very... hey, don't, are you not, it's not a child you carry. No. Why are you running? The God of champions is interested in this matter. This is where you know whether a man of God is real or fake. It's not preaching. Preaching. What preaching? Anybody can preach. If you are the devil, we call you. This is where you know. Then he said, I'm lying to her, running to my daughter. I said, the way she is talking, I'm fearing. So you left home yesterday? Yesterday I sleep for her. Uh, the woman, the woman that if you I sleep where? Them, that woman that if I give to bed you, to So them, you went to another bed. place to sleep? I still live there, daddy, and I You sleep left your, you sleep comfortably? Yes, since I, before I get wait, back Wait, wait, so you left, you left home? Yes, daddy. Mother is running from her five-year-old daughter. Well, you have not seen battle. When you see battle, you will leave money. May battle of life not meet you. Do you think the small child... I, will, I, I want to talk some things, but because we are in the public, I'm a matured prophet. My own now is to deliver her. Yes. When I deliver her, she's okay, you are okay. Yes. Then I will tell you how this thing came about. Yes, daddy. Because the thing that is happening to this child is smelling on both of you. Yes, yes, daddy, you are really telling the because truth. Because there is some things that yes. happened in the past that brought about this. Hey. It's deeper than you. When I talk, you will remember. Jesus. Have mercy. Uh -huh. Jesus, have mercy. Daddy, one day I'll say, when I give birth to this Wait, wait, don't talk again. I don't want to stigmatize my... Hey, don't talk, we are in public. My own is to deliver her. You hear me? Don't talk again, I don't want to go into that. This is your toilet. I will only pray for her, then we can talk one-on-one. -on -one. Yes, daddy. Some people are sitting with their own, they don't know. Be grateful that God exposed your own. Yes. This you, one, Jesus. she's going to be delivered. Amen. Amen. The prophet of God has stated that she will be delivered from all walks of darkness.
Your daughter is delivered now. Amen. God bless you. Don't cry again, eh? You are free now. All glory be to God. She's a brand new girl now. Give Jesus a clap. <laughs> Somebody shout fire! Shout fire! What stop your father will not stop you. What stop your mother will not stop you. My names are Joshua Igila. By the aurora on my head, your doors are open. I prophesy. I go from your father's house. It will not stop you. 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 In the name of Jesus, every door that are closed, they are open. I prophesy. Your time has come. Your time has come. Your time has come. Your time has come. Shut fire three times. Sit down. Are you blessed? Are you blessed? Have I collected? Have I? I've not. Okay. Before I flow and forget, all tight has come out quickly. Thank you, Lord. I got joy. Joy, 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 of you giving on air their account details are there I pray for you, you are blessed all the days of your lives your doors are open, you are giving via Champions TV or Champion Royal Assembly so into the account in any form I declare you blessed for life you are lifted blessed beyond measure this is your season, your time and I declare you blessed your doors open in all ramifications in Jesus' name. And those of you tight in giving here, all your doors are open. And the Lord open doors, favor you, bless you, go up, go and shine, fulfill destiny in Jesus' name.
Okay, those of you that book for deliverance, please come out quickly. Let me pray for you and then we make our declaration of Jericho victory today. Uh, are you blessed today? How many of you are blessed today? Thank you. All of you that book for deliverance, come out quick. Thank you. The Lord in the midst of his people is mighty to deliver and set free. Wherever you are across the nations of the earth, this is Champions Royal Assembly, and the God of Champions is visiting his people. It is our service of joy overflow, and it is a moment of deliverance. Scripture speaking in Jeremiah 32, 27. Behold, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything that is too hard for me to do? For this same purpose, the Son of God was made manifest, that he will destroy the works of darkness. We have so many that have come down to the city of wonders to receive a divine touch from God through the prophet of God, Papa Joshua Iginla. They are all lined up to receive a divine touch that will bring about liberation and deliverance from all works of darkness. It is our moment of deliverance. Wherever you're watching us from across the nations of the earth, call the numbers displayed on your screen to book for your deliverance. In this prophetic atmosphere, right about now, the prophet of God, Papa Joshua Igila, will be ministering to the sick, will be ministering deliverance to the possessed and setting the captives free. Just one touch is enough to announce you and deliver you. So when I lay hands on you, it's not the amount of time I spend, just the amount of divine touch that releases you from all shackles. Mighty name of Jesus. Free. And she is declared free in the name of Jesus. You can Mike, my Jesus. Mike, my Jesus. Viva. What have you done to her? I will kill her. Why do you want to kill her? I will kill her. Why do you want to kill her? I will kill her. Mike, my Jesus. Okay. Many of you are inside the body. How many of you are inside the body? We are many. From which kingdom? You can okay. see the reaction. Okay. Fire. Fire. Okay. Free in Jesus' name. And she is declared free in the name of Jesus. The prophet of God lays hands on them, ministering deliverance, healing, and setting them free in the name of Jesus Christ. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against rulers in dark places. And it is that moment, as our Father in the Lord, Papa Joshua Gila, ministers deliverance to them in the name of Jesus Christ. He declares the womb is open, there's a male child. The God of Jesus just bless her with a male child. Pregnancy, affliction in the future. You always seen people. Bad dreams, snakes, yes. Hmm? Yes. especially around your stomach, please. Yes. You have to pray. Eh? Be careful. Eh? Yes. The mic's my Jesus. Free. She has been declared free. One by one, you're being free. One by one, your restoration is guaranteed in the name of There's the a power fighting you. Yes. You are worried. You are hearing voices so that is telling you you are going to die. Yes. Huh? That's why I came There is a force. From your father's house fighting you. Eh? Yes, sir. I see Anambra, I see Kano. Yeah, eh? From Anambra, I'm based in Kano. You are based in Kano. Yes. He confirms the word of prophecy. There's this thing that is happening to you. You are even afraid. You, if you stay in the room, you are afraid. Exactly. The voice is telling you you are going to die. Exactly. I don't know. I'm seeing something that has to do with goats, chicken, white clothes, burial. Eh? Ask, answer me. Am I communicating? Yes. Is it true? Yes. Yes. On oh. Thursday. What happened on Thursday? A man tried. Uh, he's a prayer man. He, he took me for deliverance. What kind of deliverance is that? That is why I came back. I what, did he, uh, what did he ask you to Let do? Let me tell you, mention, he bought them. He bought them. He bought they them. poured the blood on your head. They have invoked the spirit of death on you. That's why you have been restless. Even depression is coming in. Coming and Sam, is it yes, true? Correct. Everything you are saying is true. I don't know the man of God or the, uh, the herbalist or whatever. Anything that has you to do with cock, 
foul blood, that's occultic. I said it. The prophet of God just revealed the main reason. <laughs> Might much Jesus. 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 My much Jesus, my much Jesus. The power of God surges through his body. Please be careful where you go to. Free. And he is the I need to free see. in the name of Jesus. All glory to the God of Stop Christ. getting worried. God is fighting the battle. Yeah. There's a sickness in your bloodstream. You are healed. And she is declared free There's a big battle in the family. Huh? Yes, sir. Can I talk to you? Yes, sir. Talk to I you, hope sir. you'll not be angry. No, 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 not at all, sir. I see somebody died abroad. Yes, Your mother, mother, Italy. Yes, you brought her for burial. Yes, After that, the battle started. Is it true? Since then, from one battle to another battle. From you cannot understand yourself, hotness of body, you hear voices, you see people, you hear death. Yes, I'm the only child, I couldn't believe that I could bring her back to bury her. And people are dying in the family, anyhow. Yes, you saw me in your dream. Is it true? Is it true? I want you to know that I know yes, you saw that's why you came. Yes, sir. I saw you in the dream, you said, My daughter, why did they want to kill you? Why did I, they want to kill you? Yes. The battle is over now. The same people that kill your mother want to kill you. But I return the arrow back to sender. I return the arrow back to sender. I return the arrow. You, you have traveled to so many countries. Nothing now. Nothing to show. I don't have this as I can travel. No shishi. No shishi. Say there is money. There is money, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The doors are opening now. Amen. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Woo. Your mother suffered, suffered, suffered. When it was time for her to eat the fruit of her labor, they attacked her. From Nigeria, you people flew her abroad to try to save her, but yet they killed her. When you came back from the, for the barrier, they attacked you. So when you saw me in the dream, I was telling you, why did they want to kill you? Because they want to kill you. Yes. But I want to reverse the arrow now. Anyone that plots your death, they shall die your death. Wherever you are watching me, they will die your death. They will cry your cry. They will die your death. In the name of Jesus, my name is Joshua Igila. By the aurora on my head, in the name of Jesus, I declare you free. You shall not die. You shall not die. You shall not die. Next week's service is money coming to me now. It is a reign of financial breakthrough. Money coming to me now. Write the figure of the amount you want to get on paper and put your name. If there is God in heaven and he has called me, don't just watch me. Be here next Sunday. It's time to enter your financial destiny. In the name of Jesus. Call the numbers now. My counselors are waiting. I hear freedom. I hear freedom. Freedom. Thank you, Jesus. This is truly a prophetic moment. There's a call of God upon your life. Yes, sir. Hear me? Yes, sir. But there's too much battle. Be careful of bad friends, eh? Bad friends. Yes, they have taken something that has to do with your glory on your brain. You forget things easily. Pray against prostrate cancer, high blood pressure, yes, and your dreams are very bad. Money does not stay. You have too many cases, debt, debt. Answer me, is it true? I want to see you because there's the battle. Mighty name, mighty name, mighty name, mighty name, fire, 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 fire. The mighty name of Jesus, mighty name of Jesus, mighty name of Jesus, mighty name of Jesus. You, what have you done to him? 
What have you done to him? What have you done to him? I need to see you. This is not where you are supposed to be. I don't have time, eh? What have you done to him? Ah! What have you done to him? Why did you reveal this to him? Yeah. You said it the last time. He escaped it and he missed it again. And why? Why? You two, why? Why? Yeah, yeah. This is a demon. Fire! 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 Fire in the shoe! Fire in the shoe! Fire in the shoe! Fire in the shoe! Fire everywhere! Fire! Fire! I don't have time. Back your Lord, out of her. Come, free. And he is set free in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Brossier. How are you, Brossier? Ah, good day. Good evening. How are you, sir? Fine, sir. What do you do for a living? I'm a man of God. You're a man of God? Yes, sir. Wow. Where do you pastor? I pastor in Ghana, sir. In Ghana. Yes, sir. So you came from Ghana? Yes. You are, you are too in many companies of friends. Too much. You are confused. Yes, you are correct. They are distracting you too much. Very correct. You are an anointed man of God, but you are trying to do what others are doing. Yes, sir. Mm -mm. Correct. Your pathway is different. Yes, sir. Between now and 2026, everything will manifest. Amen. All that God has said. Amen. You are the key to the family, but there's battle. Correct, there is a strange sir. idol your father's grandfather yes, used sir. to serve. Very, very correct, sir. Very so correct. you fight in the dream. Fight, 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 yes, fight. Yes, very correct, sir. Very, very correct, sir. So when you gather and you're growing, something will strike. Yes. People are always lying against you, accusing you. Very and correct. it's people you love and trust. Very, very correct, sir. You are so you correct. feel like leaving ministry. Two times now you have felt like leaving ministry. Sir, I've left and I went back again, sir. You are very correct, sir. The word of prophecy. Okay, come. Power will drop things. Okay. Bring him here. This is a divine importation. Bring him here. The man of God ministers. Bring him here. The raw demonstration. Okay. Free. In the name of Jesus. Deliver in Jesus' name. It's already done. Thank you, Jesus. The stagnation, delay, delay. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. Delay. Yes, sir. You're a young man, very intelligent, but there's so much, so it's much. Too, Don't make promises you cannot keep. Okay, sir. There's a reason why I'm saying this. Damn! Fibro disappear. Fake your children now. to them regarding the next level of your lives. One by see. one you have been set free. One by one liberation and deliverance is guaranteed uh -huh. in the name of Jesus Christ. Viewers all over the world to be a part of the move of God here at the City of Wonders you need to call the numbers on your screen to book for your deliverance. Where the spirit of the deep Lord is. Arrow. Very deep one. Right, okay. You hear me? Hear me uh, because no, you can't you don't want to talk about it. He receives prophetic huh? insight. How many years now? Four years. Four years. Take your children. The God of it's champions done. just bless her with okay. children. This is the mighty move of God here at the city of just fell down from the wall. Just like that. Yes, sir. She used to have bad dreams. Terrible one. Break marine spirits out. That's all. And she She's delivered. In the name of Jesus. How many years? Five. There's a male child already. Thank you, Lord. The mighty name of Jesus. Break. Break. Mighty much. Break. Mighty much Jesus. Thank you.
you, Jesus. Hey, your baby is okay. Don't worry, huh? Wow. The tangibility of God's power. Where's your husband? Where's he? Where is he? Engineer. Samson. Samson. There are many engineers. Is that what you used to call your husband? Call him the sweet Dali. name now. Dali Engineer Samson Adejo. Come and stay around your handwork. <laughs> you people don't like identifying with your handwork. Identify. It's your handwork. Supported by God. Why are you people looking at me? Don't be me, but I'm talking to my son. Please, don't travel any travel now. Ah, eh? yes. That is traveling on Tuesday for burial. Uh -huh. Did you oh, tell me? No, sir. Uh -huh. ah, this is where you Jesus. know I'm a prophet. That's right. Don't Daddy. travel. Ah, Jesus. I know it's very important. Don't travel. Oh, so that Jesus. We should, I've seen this beautiful, wonderful, wonderful ah, child. So that you Jesus. can you can carry your child. Dead oh. body, you no, know they carry Pikino. He just received the prophetic instruction. No matter how important this journey is, Thank it's you, not a Jesus. good journey. Thank Did you tell me you want to travel? No, Daddy. I didn't tell you, sir. And contraction. Everything will start in the night. Yeah? Thank Please. You, yeah? That's all. That's all. That's all. The God of Champions reveals the redeemed. I'm a prophet. You didn't tell me you want to travel. You would have traveled and not return back. You see, all these men are God telling you, don't get a prophetic church. Don't get a prophetic church. They don't even know. She, she, they need to see. She, she, they need to see. It didn't they see in a John 3 16 scripture. After that, they need to see anything. That's why they're abusing us. I'm not blaming. I'm just saying, you know, they see. Me, I they see. I am a seer. <laughs> After you caught all the scripture, eschatology, nematology, soteriology, uh, Hebrew and Greek, please see my problem. We have a prophet sent to the nations in our midst today. You see, see, how many scripture will I quote for this boy that will help him now? If I give him 25 scripture, will he help him? I need to just tell him what is ahead. You don't know. You are abusing us that we are prophets. You are abusing us. We have helped your members not to go to which doctor. They come to your church on Sunday. On Monday, they come to us to see. When we see, they go back. They will even tell us, we know, my pastor, you know, they see nothing. Now, scripture and I, they quote. But for you, you they see. Please, I just come, may you see. Is it not better that they come to a prophet of God than to go to a witch doctor? We are helping you to serve. We are giving your members spiritual palliative for your deficiency. Of the prophetic, the God of champions just saved him from the plot of darkness. Call us, call us any name, it doesn't move us. Social media didn't make us. We started prophesying before face down, up down, Instagram, history, and telegram and teleport. We started prophesying. Facebook didn't make us, so there's not we are not made overnight. We came before you, Emeka. You stayed in my one room. All that is happening now, didn't I tell you? You lie down in my one room. I was talking to you. See the future. I see this. I see that. I see that. Even when I don't know how it's going to happen. Is it not happening now? It's happening. That's how you know prophets. <laughs> free. And it's done. And set free in the name of Jesus. One by one, you're set free and delivered. And I need to see you. Jesus. Pah! 
The maximum of Jesus. 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 Free. You are under a serious arrow. Please, I need to see you, sir. Eh? Okay, sir. Say after me, I shall not die. I shall not die. I'm delivered, I'm delivered. and free. And Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I need to see you. In this moment of deliverance, the man of God ministers to I would love to see you pray against Jesus. stroke. Out. This prophetic insight and instructions. Huh? Come back for school. Free. The mighty name of Jesus. I need to. There's an. Uh, uh, uh. Evil hands have touched. I need to see you. Yeah? Kind of make my Jesus. Yo! Why do you want to initiate her? Ka, 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 ka. Make my Jesus. Ka, 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 ka. Make my Jesus. 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 Can you divide the screen? The make my Jesus. Fire. Of you free, that's all. And they are all set in the name of Jesus Christ. All glory be to the God of champions. Ah, you are in the midst. Just by a touch, darkness is dispelled. The prophets of God still ministers to them, declaring their deliverance and their divine restoration. Thank you, Jesus. The tangibility of Hallelujah. God's power is evident as demon possessed are being oh. set free. Are you facing what seems to be an insurmountable situation? That's your father. He died 20, it's a polygamous family. Yes. Very true. big family. That's true. You people are 26. Of course. 26. Correct. From your mother's side, four. Correct. But battles, battles, battles. They're trying to do politics, but things are difficult. Nothing is working. Free in the mighty name of Jesus. And he is set free in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay. It's free. The God of champions is bringing about deliverance and restoration. Still in this moment of deliverance, he ministers prophetic insights and instructions. Thank you, Jesus. Break, make, make, make my Jesus. Thank you. us from call the numbers on your screen to, to book them. for your deliverance. This is a prophetic moment here yeah. at the City of Wonders and the prophet of God ministers to both the old and the young and speaks restoration into their lives. Sicknesses, disease, delay and all work. Free! Bow to the name of Jesus. And they are all being set free. Jesus name. Are you blessed? Right about now, the prophet of God, Papa Joshua Igila, is said to minister to the pregnant women known as the Hebrew women here in Champions Royal Assembly, proclaiming, proclaiming your divine safety you, and divine protection of their children. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He ministers Jesus. to them in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh. Declaring your safe delivery and divine protection. Hallelujah. Are you blessed? Pick your whistle and let's do some celebration here. Joy overflow. Is it happening? Ay, ay, ay. Shadaba. Stand up, stand up. In five minutes, I'm going to release you. <laughs> I got joy, 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 joy overflow. I want you to dance for two minutes.
there will be joy from every angle, every place. Stand up. Make sure you are not sitting down. From every part. Stretch forth your hands to the, to the altar here. Stretch. I ask you to write your name today. Eh? Eh? Don't forget what you are going to do. On that paper, when you get home, write the amount of money you want to see. Then on Sunday, I will collect it. <laughs> then do you know something? When you now write it, sign on it. It's done. It's prophetic. Are you hearing me? From every angle, stretch your hands at the table. I want to see them there. Hear me. This year, in this month of September, joy overflow. Amen. I prophesy victory. 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 My names are Joshua Igila. By the oil on my head, I prophesy. All doors are open. Breakthrough has come. I prophesy. Money coming to you now. I prophesy. Dogs that want you dead will cry your cry and die your dead. I close the doors the enemy are using to fight you. Every access point I cut off. Every connectivity they use to access you, I cut it off. I declare that mouth saying amen. You shall celebrate in this month of September. That mouth saying amen. You will not bury your children. You will not bury your wife. You will not cry over your loved ones. I prophesy. What is impossible is possible. There is a Jericho shout. Every Jericho before you, I pull them down. Every tears is over. You break protocols. Amen. You break rules. Amen. You are sad. Amen. You will close them. 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 Amen. You will flourish. Amen. You will flourish. Amen. I hear increase. Amen. Shut fire seven times. One, two, go. Fire. 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 Are you ready? Now hear me. When I ask you to blast the whistle, now hear me. You blast it because there will be a shout of victory. After you have not done it and you are satisfied, carry your Bible and go home. Don't forget to write on that paper before you go what you want to see. Next week Sunday, come with it. I will collect it from your hand. Sign. Now, not at home. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to make that shout? And those of you with any kind of vow, you see me after the service. Are you ready? Are you ready? One, two, go!
Shabako Chikapa. Ororo. Fire. Arrico Shiba. Arrico Shiba. Arrico Shiba. My name is Joshua Ikeda. I prophesy as your father. Money on your hands. Speed on your leg. Ororo on your head. Power. Something is moving. Something is changing.
spiritually killer. I prophesy as your father. Money on your hands, speed on your leg, aurora on your head. Power. Something is moving. Something is changing. Money on your hands, 
speed on your leg, Aurora on your head. Power. Something is moving, something is changing. The oil of wonders, the bomb in Gilead. Power. Oh, so, so. Mafuro. Mafuto. Something is moving, something is changing.
is changing. The oil of wonders. Something is moving, something is changing. 